podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. BoxingVoice.com. Dolly Beyonce Productions. Let's get that done. I've been here before and I know what it takes. Hard work, dedication, boxingboys.com. Man, well, this he, he, he's the best. Win, lose, or draw, we coming to fight. Can't Boxing nobody take that away. We're coming to fight. They do what they can, I do what I want. When you look at how he throws that left hook, it starts out really low. Like, we're going to see what kind of character they have. Oh, and the left and right by Maidana. And it's all Marcos Maidana here to a lot of those punches off his shoulder. They were... I think anybody out there listening or the key, anybody, you think that that's a dangerous deal to make. I think it's a perfect deal. Oh, so that's it. 15 minutes. Can you be strong for 15 minutes? Can you? Listen. Concentration weaving a little bit. Pick it up. Pick it up! Uh, some things about we got to deal with his body shots. I don't think you want to be that close to us. He's talking about letting the left hook go, then you don't take the left hook. Let's get that done. Look, the fire's coming. Are you ready for the fire? Look, we're firemen. Okay. We are firemen! The heat doesn't bother us. We live in the heat. We train me here. Let's get that done. Danny, how much of the differences are for you at this weight? You're like, wait, man. Yeah, I'm working out. I lost like 35. Yeah. Okay. Um, everybody is a threat. What? Against Keith, we're gonna get less than you, Keith, but we're gonna get more the second time. So go ahead and make it two times. Boxingboys.com. My job is to focus on, on boxing, going out there being the best that I can be. All right, you men, this is my instruction. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands. I want you to touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. Boxingboys.com Boxingboys.com On Saturday, um, you know, I think somebody's going to get a start. We don't know who, but, you know, I'm pretty confident in myself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I must be the greatest. I must be the greatest. Damn, yo, that's a throwback Dollar DiBiase beat right there. I got to have at least three, four years on it, but it's still here. And actually, could it? Oh, yeah, yeah, 2017, right? Or was 17 when Danny faced Thurman? When did Thurman face Porter? Because you heard Ken in there like, you know, we're going to face you two times, Keith. But yeah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday, August 13th. It is preview and prediction day for, yo, for what is a huge weekend of fights. I mean, if you can watch all these fights, you are a true G. You love the sport. I don't know if I'm watching everything that we will be discussing, but guess what I will be doing? Making my picks. Not in the kitty league, and it's okay if you're in the kitty league, you know what I mean? You don't, you like do me, you don't, you know, partake in, you know, putting your hard earned money out there. We're gonna, we're gonna refrain from using that capital G word. That being said, if you are not part of the little kitty league, then you're just like me, oh, and one, because Jonah Carden shit the bed already. But that's all right, because anybody who's behind it hasn't already jumped in, the boxing gods have helped you play catch-up. Because regardless, if you didn't pick on the Jonah fight, everyone else that picked 
only picked Jonah. No one actually went for the upset. Can you believe that? No one. No one was brave enough. But, yeah, we got a uh, prediction league going on. You must be a $3 patron, but hey, if you ain't got, I don't know, however many 300 pennies splits up into 365 days, you know, that's kind of your problem. That being said, there will be a grandmaster caller is what Joe was calling it. You know, if you get them all right. I don't know. We'll see. We won't know anything today because you have to make your picks before midnight East Coast time, which we're extending it. I know Mitty wanted to make it out of like something like tomorrow. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. People used to call in and drop their picks. You know, we were old fashioned because we were a bunch of uh, old heads, Ryan. So we had paper and pen. It took Mitty from across the pond to set something up with spreadsheets and colors and little flags and stuff like that. Some of you guys even get stars. You know what I mean? I can't tell you how. But yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm capping for Mitty. I am. That being said, <laughs> Mitty across the pond, Alexander, New Yo. Jersey. What up, fellas? How you doing? Yo. What up, what up, what up, man? If you've got to, if you're gonna do something, man, you've got to do it right, man. You either all in or you're out. So, yeah, man. And uh, before I go into the, the pick and uh, the, the leagues and all that, you said it like that's a great weekend of boxing, and you've got to have a lot of time on your hand to catch everything. I'm going to do my very best to catch everything, and uh, except from, I think, the Telemundo. I probably don't have access to that, right? So, uh, But the main cars with the big promoters, definitely, I'm just going to be on that, and I'm looking forward to it. Some good fights this weekend, man. What up, champ? <laughs> you know I had the messed up picks. Call me I pick A-sides on the last one. Uh, I, I didn't know too much. I didn't do my research too much but for these picks coming along i will do more research and uh i mean hopefully i could give them to y'all right now but definitely would have took an l with jono anyway so i'm glad i didn't uh miss anything that <laughs> i would have uh, been alone on <laughs> yeah i'm over man, we, we all did man we all did and the actual the interesting thing is it wasn't a bad L either, man. I think he, he did take an L. And, you know, I'm surprised that, you know, the judges didn't go A-side either. The, the judges gave the fair results. So fair play to them as well. We always cry robbery, but, you know, there was no robbery. Yeah? I felt like like he had like an AJ moment, you know what I'm saying? Like where he just kind of thought he had it in the bag. He didn't pay too much. I was Loads seeing him. And it's crazy because I'm I was seeing him on social media and I'm seeing what he's doing. You know, I see his his, his, his um stories and everything. He was he was very nonchalant about nonchalant. everything. It's a fight, man. When everyone tells you, oh, it's a tune up, it's a get back to things fight. I think the, you I have think to they come slept up them. with yeah, you have to come with a different mentality. It was supposed to be a fight like that, but the fact that it was a bubble fight, two weight class above his, you know, own weight class. Uh, not his trainer in the um, in the corner. He fought and, two you know, weights above. Inactivity above? kills you. Yeah, I think they they, they waited like you know, uh, close to one thirty five. Yeah. I want to say one forty. You know, so one forty yeah. would definitely be two weights above. Wow. Yeah. But uh, Mongia, what up? I'm over. Here. I'm on my chilling, like, chilling. He was right in my face. What up? I was I was just making sure I got all my picks down. Got all my picks down. I'm ready. Oh. Call him pig face. <laughs> what up, Marioski? So I'm not gonna lie, do me. I feel terrible a little bit about you know Jonah, but it's like I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. We're all starting from scratch now, so I was gonna be that one point behind. Now it looks like I'm not. Mm. You know. Yeah, no, no every, everyone's even, but that's kind of your fault. You were the only one that came on here and said, I kind of hope Jonah loses so I'm not behind. And, <laughs> you know, I just he hope he doesn't everybody. hear that. You know? mm. That being said, that though, that being said, uh, in the pro leagues, right, because we got an amateur prediction league and a pro prediction league. In the pro prediction league, we got Mr. 704. We got Mark Blake. We got Ryan O'Rourke. We got... Info Joe in California, Mario Monguilla, and uh, I think that's all. The and Joseph, Joseph, and Joseph, so, Joseph, Big so Supermax yeah. Rodriguez. That that's it. So 
and so that to give you a little bit of an idea uh so as of now there is like in week one thirty dollars in the kitty so you're gonna get like a gift that is thirty dollars equivalent at yes. least and that's just week one we're doing the tally after at the end of the calendar month so well, there's many. another three weeks in there right so Oh, so people that still want to join this month, even though they're down, yeah. all these fights could? A exactly. They can take the risk, right? They, they can take the risk. And the reason why we're doing this is because if you're going to go with 13 fights in uh, week one, they're going to be the a good chance that there will be a lot of people tied at number one, right? So if you spread it over the whole calendar month, there's more chance to have less of a tie break on the uh, on the winner. Therefore, they don't have to share the gift. Like, imagine trying to cut a T-shirt in five or six different pieces and send them to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so that, that's the whole idea of that, you know. Definitely. Well, that... You, you can take your risk, man. You can take the risk. Like, listen, if you're not too far behind, you join yeah, no, in listen, like... And in don't like, forget, you know? anybody that uh, joins the Pro League between now and midnight with both picks and fees you know you're you'll be involved and you won't be late so you got till midnight eastern time to not be behind on all this weekend's cards because then you'll be like mario starting you know off in the hole but knowing that you're great enough to come up out of it we got and Islandry. then having to wish bad upon people <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We got Islandri Laura live on the show in about 15 minutes. Um, so, yeah, if you got any questions for Laura, you know to go ahead and head on over to our Patreon.com forward slash The Boxing Voice and drop your pick. Gentlemen, I say we get into uh, Connecticut live on Showtime. Title fight between David Benavidez, the current WBC 168-pound champion who fights for pbc but promoted by samson lewikovic shout out to samson just getting out the hospital uh we got romeo alexis angulo trained by pedro diaz in a 12 round fight for benavidez wbc super middleweight strap i'm going benavidez not much to say here if alexis angulo or romeo alexis angulo is gonna prove anything it's gonna be tonight but it won't be off the back of me picking him for an upset the way Doomy might because he loves underdogs so i'll keep it short i seen him once i believe he fought and lost to gilberto ramirez he felt like he was short to me i could be confusing angulo with a med or something like that that, that, that gilberto did fight but i'll double check but that's that's kind of it man I'm, I'm going with benavidez and, uh, yeah, it looks like I was right. He did lose to Gilberto. Yeah, he's a pretty short guy, Romeo. Um, it says he's 6'1", but damn, how tall is Gilberto then? Because Gilberto was looking tall compared to him. Carlos, yeah. I, I mean, like, Gil Gilberto looks tall, like, against most op opponents when I've seen him, right? So yeah, he, he's true. a really, really tall dude. I remember seeing him, like... Uh, when he fought Abraham, like, you know, walking past him in uh, at the MGM. And I thought to myself, damn, man, that guy, that guy is tall, man. Uh, so, yeah, that, you know, I'm I'm going to pick Benavides too, right? So, uh, and just because we know, you know, who Benavides is in that division and the role he has to play. So, hopefully, you know, he doesn't slip up on this one. Uh, but, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, listen. Angulo's I, last win was an upset to Anthony Sims, who used to do mm. the Muhammad Ali mannerisms yeah. and shuffle in the ring. Signed the match room, Eddie Hearn, USA, from yeah. Long Beach, California area. So that was a big upset. Um, yeah. You know, people thought Sims was going to be the deal. It, well, yeah, we did. And, you know, he trained a lot in the UK as well, like Anthony Sims. He was at the. Uh, the matchroom deal, that's where his camp was. He had like a few fights in the UK. And we're definitely hyped on on the guy, right? And in terms of like everything, the skill set and uh, the charisma as well. Uh, and the story, like training at the Mayweather gym, that's where he came up and all those. Uh, but yeah, like, hey, Angulo shows you that he's like, uh, he's a live dog when he goes into those fights. So, uh, but I still think like Benavides, you know, uh, you know, will be, well, is my pick anyway, right? So, but I still think like he has, 
enough because there's one thing going against like a hot prospect versus an established fighter that is so close to getting like you know the biggest fights right so he has really no incentive to sleep up right he just needs to be sharp there and you know stay on course man yeah no i, I don't want to make it sound like he's got like like this fight doesn't mean anything he's been out of the He's been out of the game a year now, almost, I think, uh, September something was his last fight, that Darrell fight. So, you know, it's almost a full year out, and he's coming back, and, um, you know, it, it's like, is there nothing on the line? I, I wouldn't say there's, like, a lot on the line, obviously, uh, but facing a guy who is kind of tricky, Romet is, is, you know, he's definitely a, you know, a guy if you sleep on, he, he'll make you pay for it, but uh, I think ultimately... It, this is it, Benavides' chance to make a statement. You know, his name was sadly missing from the names of Canelo potential opponents. And it was obviously there, but in terms of realistic, you know, reality, like Caleb Plant, you know, there was supposedly offers there. And, you know, uh, there was just all these fighters. And, and, and David Benavides is kind of like the guy that was left out of that. And, and, you know, he's still really young, 23. Like, you know, it, it's not to say he has to fight a Canelo like that. All I'm saying is that, he needs to utilize every opportunity at this point to really make a statement so he can go out there and do that. So it's not to say that there's really, you know, that there's nothing on the line for the main event. Hey, listen, well, you know, go for it. Timothy. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to keep it real simple, real jiggy, real quick, bro. I'm with David Benavidez. You know, I think Pedro came on and he told us that Romare was, uh, you know, working on stuff. He's looking great. But I, I, uh, I'm just gonna have to go with Benavidez, go with Mitty's uh, saying, you know, proven stock, and uh, you know he is the he is gonna be the favorite, obviously. And um, I haven't seen Romero in action. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and see that Anthony Sims fight, see how how close it was. But um, you know, Benavidez is a finisher, man. He's a finisher, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see too the 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 way that he fights against a guy that's you know similar in a uh, uh, excuse me in a uh, height and length you know because I think that's one advantage that David Benavides usually has on guys a little taller he's rangy so uh, you know it's going to be interesting to see that that matchup but I think David Benavides pulls it off. Yeah, and I mean, like, one more thing that I will add to this, like, it tells a lot about Benavides, right? So, you know, you could take an easier fight. We've seen how things go, right? So we're all dying and crying to see those, like, good matchup, right? We uh, we complain a lot when we see those bubble fights where, you know, it's all one-sided. Uh, so credit to, you know, an established fighter that, you know, is looking to have like a live opponent in front of them. That that tells a lot about their mentality. Uh, but, you know, let's hope that everything comes together on the night and, you know, the, the layoff and uh, the lockdown camp didn't have too much on, of an impact on him. Because uh, you don't want to hear like a kind of like, you know, post-fight interview like we heard for John O'Carroll where, you know, hey, I'm disappointed. I should have done this. I should have done that. Uh, but, Overall, you know, I commend him uh, to take that fight, for taking that fight, because it tells me, you know, what he wants to achieve. And if he goes through that name, he definitely wants the bigger names, the, the names that Mario was talking about on his resume, right? You, you want to go for the for the top of the hill, man. And, you know, I like fighters like that. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm behind him for sure. Uh, this I don't know if I can give my picks out anymore on air. I think... I think that <laughs> I think I might just not even give them anymore because I'm trying to take that bread. Man, you yeah, uh, you you can't do that, man. You're trying to just like you have to share, man. You know, you're a good guy. I always know you as <laughs> Ma, you're the good guy, man. You know, so I, I mean, you you should give the tips to everyone, man. If you have <laughs> well, if let's, I, let's if make ever... sure we all eat. If ever a time for there to be an upset with David Benavidez, it would be now. You know that he was expecting to fight Yerdim, and Angulo was coming off of four straight wins with the Sims win being, being the biggest since losing to Gilberto. But we all picked David. So uh, just moving on, I guess we are on the undercard, which is a fantastic undercard gentlemen 
This is going to be a live fight chat, without a doubt. We might have to end up doing the whole fight card because I'm down with every fight, starting from the bottom. But the co-main event is Michael Rivera versus, excuse me, Rolando Romero, who is signed to TMT Floyd Mayweather Promotions. This is Roly. Rolando Romero is a.k.a. Roly. And Jackson Marinez. He is Dominican, and he's trained, I believe, by Calcedo. And this is for a vacant WBA interim lightweight title. And it's going to be interesting because if Romeo wins in the fashion in which he believes he's going to win, I'm really interested to see how much pressure Floyd puts on Tank to make the Romeo fight because Romeo feels like, yo, I will be his interim champ. I'm going to be coming. I'll beat all those guys. And he's talked a big game. He's made himself famous off of beating up Ryan Garcia in sparring. And now this is his television fight on primetime to tell what he can really do. I'm going with Romeo Rolando on the picks as my official pick. But I'm rooting with Jackson Marinez. He just doesn't Yo, have the mm. resume to pick him. On the bet, you know, on the on the prediction league, he's gonna have to prove it on Saturday. But I will be rooting with uh, Dominican Jackson Armani Marinas. Yo, so, so it's Dominican from, night. Yes. Nah, but from a peak standpoint, I have to tell you that you know, unfortunately, this is one of the fights that we had to cut, right? Because there were so many fights on there. I wasn't a fan of cutting. Uh, you fight. cut this one. Holy smokers. Yeah, like, like, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to have all of them because I don't mind doing the, the leg work and all that. And I actually find it more exciting when we have to pick through all those fights. But you know how, you know, a lot of people told us that there was way too many fights on there. So we had to make some concessions. And um, but I'm excited about that fight, too, because this is going back to what I, t I keep telling you. The reason why I started to listen to TBV is to get on to exciting fighters on your side of the pond as early as I can. And, you know, if you guys are hyped up on the rollies and, you know, all those upcoming fighters, I want to see them uh, before, you know, they a bit more ahead in their career, right? So that, that's what you do as someone who wants to study the, uh, the game. So, um, yeah, so th that's definitely one of the fights that I'm really excited about, right? So hey, it's prospect time for me. It's Dominican Gen Independence Day. For Gentlemen, that looks like we have uh, Islandri Laura on the line, or he's connecting. So, uh, Alex, you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. All right. Lara, ahí. Hey, Reggie. Que vola, Sere? He's on. <laughs> Alex, man, uh, just tell him first and foremost that uh, we, we, we really appreciate him taking out the time during training camp to come on the show and, and just talk a little boxing over here on the, you know, the Boxing Voice, La Voz de Boxeo. Primeramente, te quiero dar las gracias por tomando el tiempo entre este tiempo de entrenamiento para hablar con la gente del boxeo. Okay, no problema. Gracias a ellos. Thank you guys for having him on. Hey guys, uh, so we want to start off uh, asking first and foremost, uh, you know, how he's been throughout this time, uh, you know, with everything going on in the pandemic, how safe he's been and, and how his family is. So, primero te quería preguntar cómo tú has regado con la pandemia, cómo está la salud y cómo está la familia y cómo tú has regado con esta situación entrenando y todo. No, con, con la pandemia no, la salud y la familia está, está bien. Yes, and thankfully, thank God, everyone on his, in his family side is safe. He's safe and healthy, um, and he's looking forward to, you know, get through this uh, pandemic as quickly as possible. Alex, I actually got a real good one. He's one of the few guys that chooses to fight and uh, defend the IBO, I, I, I believe that he is going to have the vacant IBO on the line in this fight versus uh, Raymond Alvarez as well as the vacant WBA. Uh, is that true? Can he confirm or deny? 
está preguntando sobre el, el ver que a ti te gusta defender el título de la IBO um, y él piensa, hay rumores por ahí diciendo que ya no tú vas a defenderla en, para la próxima pelea um, ¿hay, ¿eso es cierto o, o qué habla sobre eso? No, este, estamos defendiendo el título porque es el título que yo tengo seguimos que hemos seguido fajado en esa división ahí hasta que venga una pelea importante ¿no? para pelear mejor para, para un futuro Yeah, no, I mean, the, 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 the title that's on the line is the one he has, um, and, um, you know, he, he's always looks forward to defending it and, 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 and looking forward to a, to a much bigger fight, um, but he's always on defending that, um, the title that he has. Can he, tell us any, can he tell us any vulnerabilities he may see in Jason Rosario, uh, the Dominican uh, current champion that holds some of those titles that, that Laura once held? Me está preguntando sobre, sobre el dominicano Jason Rosario, si, si a ver si tuve alguna alguna debilidad en el, en el, en el, en el, en el, el talento de él, um, porque él, él ve, él tiene los lo, lo títulos que tú tenías en un tiempo, so Um, uh -huh. ¿Tú ves algo que tú, a lo mejor tú puedes coger ventaja en el ring con él? No, en hecho un joven, de que tiene su potencial, de su, su potencial como boxeador. Pero bueno, quisiera que sea la pelea esa, porque termine de pelear él con, con echarlo en caso de que haya que pelear con él por la poca faja, ¿no? Y vamos a ver qué, qué pasa. I mean, no, él se ve como un joven, strong fighter. Él um, definitivamente tiene mucho de fuerza para llegar a donde él got. Um, but definitely, I mean, he, he would definitely love to take that fight if he wins um, after his next fight with Charlo. Um, Laura would step right up for that fight. And speaking of Charlo, now that he's no longer with Ronnie Shields and trained with Ishmael Silas, are those guys realistic options for him? Or does he feel like the friendship will still keep him away from those fights? So, uh, ahora que tú, que tú um, trabajas con Sala y ahora no estás con, 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 con Ronnie Shields en Houston, ¿tú crees que ahora sí se hace esa pelea más fácil o tú crees que a lo mejor no se hacen um, por la amistad que tú tenías con la gente en, en Houston, en el campamento? Bueno, um, yo, creo que eso, yo creo que eso no tiene que ver nada que te contar ahora. Nosotros tuvimos mucho tiempo entrenando juntos como en, en el campamento y desgraciadamente este es un negocio, ¿no? Eh, yo no quisiera nunca que la pues, quisiera que no sé depende de lo que digan ellos ¿verdad? porque tú después como que sea cada cual que tienen que buscar su, su futuro y, y si el día de mañana se da la posibilidad de pelear con él se pelea ¿verdad? yeah uh, um, yeah so he definitely um, you know values the friendship that they had that was some time ago when they trained together in Houston um, but at the end of the day boxing is a business and and, and us as fighters we look to take advantage of opportunities to set our futures in, in, on the right path. So um, if, that, if that opportunity ever showed up, then he would also gladly take it and friendship would not get in the way. Hey, hi, uh, Lara. Um, this is Mide, uh, the co-host from uh, the United Kingdom. Um, I just wanted to ask you, since we touch on Ismail Salas, uh, can you talk to us about like the uh, how you are adjusting to training with Ismail Salas and living in Las Vegas as well. So what are the differences with Ronnie as well? So I'm talking about the United Kingdom. I'm asking about the training with Sala and how you have adapted to train with Sala and you're living in Las Vegas. I'm talking about Sala. I feel good, thank you. I've improved a lot of things that I've lost and I feel happy with the work that he's done with me. Y solamente le diré que me siento como hace como, como cuatro o cinco años atrás. Me siento en mejor condición y me siento bien enfocado para esta pelea. No, it feels great. Uh, he feels great working with Salas. He feels like um, he's been able to bring back some stuff uh, that um, he wanted to work on. Um, so he sharpened up some tools working with Salas. He feels um, like he felt four or five years ago. Feels strong, feels ready, and feels real comfortable uh, training with Salas um, and going into this next fight. He's ready. Uh, can you ask him just some, does he feel any differences between Salas and Ronnie simply because of the language barrier? Because I believe this is the first time that he's with a 
Latin, fully Latin speaking trainer. So there's no barrier there, or did he feel like he was over to able come the English barrier with Ronnie? Uh, he started his career with Sara, but I'll, I'll ask him. So, um, está preguntando sobre cuál la diferencia sobre que tú sientes con Sala y Ronnie. ¿Tú, tú, tú ves técnicamente algo diferente o tú crees que es algo que tiene que ver con, con el lenguaje? Que él estaba diciendo que esta es la primera vez que tú, tú entrenado con un entrenador que tiene el mismo lenguaje tuyo, pero yo le dije que, que tú empezaste tu, tu, tu carrera con Sala. No, yo me siento bien. La diferencia solamente es el problema del lenguaje. Yo a Ronnie le entendía muchas cosas, muchas cosas que lo que él me decía y yo practicaba con él, ¿no? Pero como quiera que sea, yo decidí darle el paso ese de regresar con Sara por, tú sabes, los últimos años de mi, de mi carrera y, y mejorar, mi, mejorar un poco más el conocimiento y seguir trabajando con él. Yeah, he, I mean, he felt that, um, that he, he fully understood Ronnie. He never thought that language was a, uh, was a barrier when they trained together. Obviously, having the same language helps. But the switch to, to Salas was basically he wanted to work on a couple of different things, switch it up a little bit, and, and, and like he said, you know, um, sharpen up his, his tools, and, and Salas was able to do that. Alex, uh, ask, ask uh, uh, first of all, tell him thank you uh, for coming on the show. It's Alex here. It's just... Wanted to ask him, uh, how uh, uh, how is he is he having to travel to go to Salas? Is uh, is he near Salas? Uh, how's that how's that uh, turning out for him as far as him traveling to the camp? Él dice gracias por venir al show y estaba preguntando sobre la logística de entrenar con con Salas. Sí, tú tienes que viajar para ir a ver la sala, um, a, a, para sí. entrenar con él. So, co, sí, como... no, yo tengo que viajar, yo tengo que viajar para, para aquí, para La Vega, para entrenar aquí con Sara. He hecho mi campo de entrenamiento, estamos entrenando, eh, creo que febrero, de, de empezar la pandemia, este, estamos entrenando y, y, y todo está bien, todo está saliendo bien. Yeah, he, he does travel, he travels in the Las Vegas. He set up, he set up a boxing camp there, um, and he... Um, the travel sets up boxing camp. He's been there since February, right before the pandemic training. And you know, Alex, with with, that, with the pandemic and everything going on, just ask him if uh, they're taking any particular precautions in the gym. I know, I know, Salas has a couple of guys in there. So, is he taking any precautions as far as you know, you know, with sparring partners, any particular guys he's got to work with? Any, 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 anything that he's doing special in order to stay safe? You know, a lot of fights have been falling through because of it. Sí, se está preguntando porque él, él ve que Sala tiene muchos peleadores y está preguntando sobre si a ver si están haciendo algo en gimnasio para protegerse sobre el virus, como practicando todas las cosas que la noticia nos dice para practicar y um, en el sparring. Sí, ¿qué, ¿Qué están haciendo pa, en el gimnasio para, para cuidarse? Con, el, con la cada pandemia. Cada cual, cada cual en el gimnasio está eh, guardando su distancia. Yo tengo mi hora de entrenamiento. Soy uno de, de los de los primeros que entreno. Entreno temprano en la mañana. Ya a 10 de la mañana estoy entrenando y cuando vienen llegando la gente, eh, una, eh, una persona por, por un boxeador por, por el día, ¿no? Por a cada hora un boxeador tiene su, su, su tiempo y de todas formas tenemos todo, nos estamos cuidando, entramos, echamos, nos echamos en el sin en alcohol y se llega con la máscara y ya después que estamos entrenando es así pero cada cual toma su su precaución ¿eh? yeah everyone is definitely being real cautious being um you know, real conscious with what's going on before they go to the gym they had the mask on and when they come in they're using hand sanitizer they're um keeping their social distance but on top of it it sounds like um every fighter has their designated um hour to train uh, with Salas and, and, and Laura's a morning guy. So he, he gets his work in by 10 o'clock. He's, he, he's pretty much wrapping up. And as the other guys are coming in, um, like I said, they keep their distance and, and, and he's wrapping up and then, and, and he goes, and then all the other fighters have their individual house as well. Uh, Alex, can you ask him, uh, you know, he's been like a career 154 guy. He's been there for a really long time. So it's clear that he can make the weight, but if an opportunity were to present itself at 147 or 160, how, uh, interested would he be in that? So I ve que tú siempre haces el peso en 54 sin problema, pero él está interesado saber si, si te presenta una oportunidad en 47 o en 60, um, 
tú, si tú te ves abierto para coger una oportunidad en cualquiera de esas otras divisiones. No, no, estoy abierto para coger una oportunidad en 60, no en 47. 47 tengo que bajar mucho y pasar mucho trabajo. Entonces, prefiero, es mejor que, si no es 54, eh, eh, es 60, ¿no? Pero 47 no creo que pueda hacerlo. Yeah, he, if there's anything he's interested, he's interested in going up to 60. Um, he's comfortable at 54. Um, if there's any other opportunity that comes around at 60, he's, he's, he's interested in taking it. But 47 for him will be a little, um, it's, it's too much weight to, 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 lose, to, to lose, and he, he's more interested in going up than down. Alex, so we've been on about eight minutes. We got a few more from the people. First one is coming from James Valdez. So I don't know if you want to waste your time telling them everything, but I do want to let them know we're reading their questions. So James Valdez in San Antonio says, uh, your only losses were close fights, which some feel could have gone your way. My question is this, champ. If you could have obtained the rematch, which would it have been and why? So basically, out of all his losses, which rematch would he have wanted the most? Este fanático está diciendo que ve tu pelea, que él notiza, él nota que muchas de tus perdidas eran cerca, y si tú tenías que hacer una revancha con alguna de tus perdidas, ¿cuál, cuál será? Canelo Álvarez. Canelo Álvarez. Bien dicho. Yes. All right, tell them. Next one is from John Feliciano, who says, would you be willing to move up in weight to fight other champions? Personally, I could see you beating Billy Joe at 168. So I guess Axum is 168 too big of a leap to fight specifically Billy Joe Saunders. Que tú puedes, que tú puedes ir a 68 a pelear con un campeón como Billy Joe Sand Saunders ¿Qué tú piensas de, de, de brincar dos divisiones y, y pelear con los campeones en 78? Estoy, estoy abierto, yo estoy abierto a pelear en cualquier división. Solamente, eh, toda, solamente es que es un buen negocio, ¿no? Mi amiga Luis, Luis Cuba y una amiga Hermón se empezarán de hacer cualquier cosa. He, he, he's open, he's definitely open for those opportunities. He's um, it definitely got, it, it has to make sense and he relies on, on, on his... All right, we got David Maldonado that says, what's your top five favorite fighters of all time from each of these demographics? Cuba, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Argentina. So top five in each? So like 20 fighters total? Nah, one each. Like his his best Cuban, so best Mexican. Cuál, cuál, cuál es, cuál, yeah, yeah, yeah. um mejores peleadores de, de estos países. What was the countries? Cuba, México, Puerto Rico y Argentina. El número uno de todo esa de boxeador de, de esos países. Bueno, de, de Argentina, Sergio Martínez. Cuba. De Cuba, de Cuba, el gran Lara. El gran Lara, Cuba. Argentina, Sergio Martinez. Um, what's the other one, Puerto Rican? Y, y, y de Puerto Rico, no, se me olvidó el nombre de, 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 que peleó con Oca, ¿cómo se llama? Este, Trinidad. Trinidad. Tri, Trinidad. Trinidad. Y el último es de México. ¿Lo viste a everyone or we miss? Uh -huh. De México. De México, de México, Julio César Chávez. Eh. All right. <laughs> Julio Cesar Chavez is his last answer for Mexico champion. So, uh, George in Dallas, Fort Worth, says some boxing fans say that you ran against Canelo. Do you regret not going toe to toe for the KO? Alguna gente dice que tú corriste contra Canelo. Tú no te arrepientas que no fuiste a toe to toe y fuiste para la noqueada. No, 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 no me arrepiento. Canelo nunca me vio en el ring. Nunca me vio, nunca me lastimó, nunca me dio un golpe. Al contrario, vieron así, vieron la pelea cuando, cuando terminó la pelea, como la forma que él terminó y la forma que yo terminé. No, he doesn't regret it at all. I mean, he thinks that, that, that Canelo didn't even see him or touch him the whole fight. As if you look at the end of the fight, look at his face and look at Canelo's face. So, no, absolutely, he, he doesn't regret um, the style he fought. 
All right, we got Bo from Alabama that says, thank you, champion, for joining us. I have you as my favorite Cuban boxer of all time. You are a legend for what you did in the ring and out of the ring. You beat Canelo. You have owned all of my dream cars, went on all of my dream vacations, and have had all of my dream girlfriends. Salute, champion. <laughs> Este tipo, este fanático de Alabama eh, dice que tuvo una leyenda, que tú eres el, el, el creador cubano más favorito de él de todo tiempo. Tú, um, tú tienes tú, adentro del ring y afuera del ring. Tú tienes todos los carros que quiere, todas las mujeres que quiere y fuiste a, a todos los sitios que él quiere. Que tú eres una leyenda. Y que también le ganaste eh, Canelo, gracias, dice. Gracias, no, dice que gracias, que dice gracias. No tengo, no tengo todas las mujeres que, que quiere, diga eso, que eso no, yo no, no sé así. Ya, ya, he does not have all the girls, but he appreciates the love and, and definitely doesn't he have all the girls as, as it may seem. <laughs> We got Adrian Ronan that says, What is your personal favorite performance of your own in the ring and why? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la pelea favorita tuya de, 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 en sentido de cómo tú hiciste en el ring? ¿Cuál es fa, la más favorita tuya? La, la pelea tuya. más favorita mía que yo he hecho en, sí. el, en el ring. Sí. Imagínate tú, fue una de las favoritas fue con Hall también, una pelea fuerte. Y Paul Williams. Hall y Williams fueron las mejores dos performances que hizo. All right, we, oh, excuse me. Jab left hook. Up. Yeah, go ahead. Jab left hook. What aspects of your game did that Canelo fight help improve? I asked. ¿Qué aspecto tú mejoraste después de la pelea de Canelo? No, he, he mejorado, he mejorado mucho. He, ya, eh, pues me paro, ahora me paro un poco más. Ya no me muevo como antes. Empezó a caminar y todo el, el yacén, caminar mejor el ring. Este, que más? Me he, he aprendido a, a pegar sentado en el ring. ¿Sabes? Me he sentido como después de mucho tiempo de la pelea de Camilo para hace seis años y cada pelea que he tenido son experiencias que uno coge y, y creo que he mejorado todas esas cosas. Yeah, he, he feels, you know, he's, he's gotten better in, in many different ways with that fight being six years ago. Every fight after that, he feels he's gotten better, but specifically he feels like he's sitting on his punches a little bit better. He's, he's walking the ring a little bit better, and he's, he, he's standing and fighting in the pocket a little bit better as well. Um, so he, he definitely felt those improvements since. Yeah, man. Real quick, Alex, I'm going to jump in real quick in between the people's questions. Uh, tell him, I, I've, seen, I've seen him a little more aggressive now in the ring than in the past, past fights. Um, is that what he's talking about now, him being a little more aggressive, walking forward? I mean, to me, he has one of the best left hands in boxing, you know, and the way he almost sent Alvarez out the ropes, he was very aggressive. I liked it. Um, is that something he turns on or is it something that he just, uh, uh, I mean, something he just turns on given whatever opponent he's given or is it something new that he's going to start doing more often now, walking forward and, and being more aggressive? So, I, I, I look at no in, in tu pelea, eh, tu el más, el está más agresivo y, y un ejemplo de eso es la pelea con, con Ramón Álvarez que cuando lo noqueaste para poco lo noquea fuera de ring eh, él piensa que tú tienes una de las mejores derechas en, en el boxeo pero él está preguntando sobre tú crees que eso es lo que tú acabas de hablar que tú ves mejorando que te ha hecho más agresivo o eso es algo que tú a, a, que tú prende y apaga depende en el oponente que tienes la mano izquierda, sí, la izquierda. Es una cosa que, que yo, que, que, me, que me sale, depende del oponente que yo tengo, ¿no? Prende a pago, pero he mejorado, lo que sí he mejorado mucho es el 1-2. Puede ser, como él dijo, era una de la izquierda más presente que había y, y la he recuperado para atrás. Y, y gracias a Dios me siento contento por ese trabajo que, que está haciendo más sano. Yeah, he definitely feels stronger um, from his work, from his now Salas. He, he, he turns it on, turns it off. He has that ability. Um, to do that, and, and like you mentioned, he, he has one of the best lefts in the game. And I apologize for messing that up on the translation. Man, bro, you like 
hurts. You're like 100 for 99. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no apology. Uh, the next one's coming in from Natural Wiz. That's says, out of how Canada. Much... Yeah, he's from Canada. And uh, he says, how much weight training is involved in each fight camp you are in? So, un fanático de Canadá está preguntando sobre asando pesa. ¿Cuánto, cuánto, cuánto pesa tú? Um, tú haces en el campamento de, de, de boxeo. Pesa ejercicio, ¿no? Yo, yo trabajo yo trabajo fuerte los, los, los martes, los jueves y sábados, que son los días que me toca la física, me trabajo muy fuerte esas cosas y, y en sí no soy un pegador de pesa, ¿no? Que son constantes las repeticiones que tengo que hacer en el campo y para mejorar un poquito más la pegada y eso. Yeah, he, he likes to work um, weights when he does weights about three times a week, um, but it's something he focuses on more of uh, on repetition versus versus heavy li lifting heavy um he doesn't consider himself a, a a strong strong fighter to be lifting heavy so he does he focuses more on repetition about three times a week all right this next one's coming in from big casual ness i don't know if you could tell me where that's coming from but uh we'll say what's up champ who do you feel is a harder puncher canelo or jared hurd ¿Qué tú piensas que, que da un puño más duro, Canelo o Jerry Hurd? Bueno, a Canelo nunca le sentí la mano y la pelea con, con Hurd fue una pelea devastadora, una pelea fuerte y, y no tanto lo fuerte que pega, porque yo no le sentí lo fuerte, lo que sentí fue de Hurd fue el peso. Es un, es un boxeador bien pesado y bien alto y eso fue lo que uno que yo sentí en la pelea. Yeah, well, I mean, versus Canelo, like he said earlier, he, 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 don't think, uh, he doesn't think Canelo touched him, so he don't think he really felt his power. Now with Jared Hurd, he doesn't think it was the power either. It was more um, his weight that he that he that that he felt on Jared Hurd um, being the much bigger fighter. And, and obviously, you got to factor in that it was that it, it was a war. I mean, it was the fight of the year. So factor that in with he felt more his weight than saying saying it was his power. Alex, can you ask him his thoughts uh, over the fact that if he wins this fight? The new hot Eastern European in Israel, Mazradov, will be his um, mandatory, which is a DAZN fighter. And the only way that doesn't happen is if Eric Walker somehow upsets him. But, you know, there's favorites and not favorites for a reason. So just basically his thoughts on facing Israel, Mazradov. So, ¿Qué son tus pensamientos si tú ganas la pelea y tienes que defender el mandatorio Israel Mazdal aunque pelea en The Zone? ¿Qué son tus pensamientos sobre ese, ese escenario? ¿Con quién? quién ¿Con quién? ¿Con, la, ¿Con quién? ¿Contra quién? Él entrenea con, es, con well, Joel well, Díaz. Well, he's, he trains with Joel Díaz. He's like 5 and 0. He's like this new hot thing, you know. Everybody's happy about him and stuff, you know. Es eh, un, un peleador en, en Europa que, que, que todo el mundo está hablando. Um, Masvedo se llama. No sé quién es, no lo conozco. Bueno, pues tú sabes que yo, 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 yo ganar la pelea y tengo que hacer la defensa con él. Yo peleo con él como quiera, pero eh, me están hablando y yo no lo conozco. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he, he, does, he doesn't recognize the fighter. Um, he hasn't seen a fight, so he can't give an opinion there. But as far as if he wins the fight and that's, uh, that's his mandatory, he's willing to step up and definitely face his mandatory. Bet, bet. Well, Let him know he's only like five and zero or six and zero yeah. though. But he's jumping the ranks. Sí, he, 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 con Joe Valdez. No, es que tú no te has supuesto conocerlo. Él no tiene pelea todavía. Él va a necesitar tu nombre y por eso te estoy preguntando porque, porque él va a ser tu mandatorio. Oh, no, 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 no. no en, caso tal, en caso tal no hay problema. En caso tal, si tenga que pelear con él porque él quiera pelear conmigo, nosotros nunca hemos elegido los boxeadores, ¿no? Se pelea con él. Pero bueno, yo creo que todavía estamos hablando de una de una, una defensa o una unificación. Yo creo que tiene que ganarse su pueblo todavía, ¿no? Con ser pelea no puede venir a pelear conmigo. Exacto. No, el, el pelea te no, sábado. Translate so that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> They turned it into La Voz del Boxeo right now. Yeah, I was trying to put some context for, you, for your fans that you said that, you know, that, that this new up-and-coming fighter might need to 
uh, need Lara's name and, and, and use Lara's name as his up-and-coming fight, but Lara give him the opportunity, but he still thinks he, ha he has to prove himself. Well, all um, right. There's uh, uh, one more coming in from uh, the U.K. Ryan O'Rourke says, Hello, champ, from U.K. Liverpool. What's it like being a professional from Cuba, which mainly has rich amateur pedigree? Is it looked down upon to turn pro when Olympics World Championships main target? And would you like to fight in England one day? So, ¿cómo tú te sientes sobre, siendo, uh, viniendo de Cuba y, 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 y volviendo de un, un profesional cuando en Cuba el, el amateo y yendo para el, la medalla de oro siempre es como el, el primero? So, ¿Qué tú, son tus sentimientos sobre um, siendo un profesional en Cuba y, y, y qué la gente piensa? Yo, yo me siento bien, me siento bien, gracias a Dios. Con, yo fui lo que hice en Cuba, tuve los, los loros que tuve en Cuba y me y me y cambié solamente mi profesión a un profesional. Y lo he hecho bien y he logrado todos los logros en la división, haciendo 54 libras. Y me siento de verdad que muy contento conmigo mismo por, por el logro que he tenido. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he has success in Cuba, and, and, and thankfully he was able to adapt and, and transition to the professional um, game and, and, and defend the title as many times he's defended it and, and run through a division and, and make his mark and, and, and accomplish all his dreams with the professional game. So, he, he, I mean, he feels real good about his decision. He's comfortable um, by, 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 doing, by doing so. All right. Ryan, I think Ryan was asking um, – since it's like a mainly a goal uh, for for the Cuban teams to chase an Olympic World Championship as a main target, is it shunned upon for a Cuban amateur to turn straight pro instead of trying to get that Olympic uh, uh, glory? Shunned upon by like the public, like the Cuban the Cuban people. Yeah, yeah. So 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 está hablando como 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 te estaba diciendo la la cogiendo una medalla. Es lo, es, es lo más importante en Cuba, en el deporte. So, ¿Tú crees que la gente en Cuba a lo mejor piensa mal de ti o, o, o de, de cualquiera que se vuelva profesional? No, no, no pienso eso, no pienso eso. Ya los boxeadores cubanos, o los, los, como se dicen, los, los, los boxeadores cubanos que están en Cuba, que están bocinando eh, este, de amateur, ya casi, casi en mente son boxeadores profesionales porque están peleando sin cabecera, ¿no? En el tiempo mío nunca se peleó sin cabecera, pero yo creo que el boxeador cubano que, que decida dar un paso a la boxeo profesional, no creo que el pueblo lo, lo mire mal, ¿no? Porque como que hay que ser, están buscando un futuro mejor para ellos y para sus familias. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, day he... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Alex, sorry. ¿Te gustaría pelear, te gustaría pelear en, en Inglaterra? Fue la, la, la última parte de esa pregunta. Inglaterra. Sí. ¿Con quién? With who? He didn't Me mention it. He's, just, he's from the UK, so he, he really yeah. wants a lot of to go over there. <laughs> if I, I think he's going, if it makes sense, if it makes sense, like he said, he's willing to take a, a advantage of any opportunity that, that, that's given to him. Uh, no, 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 el, no, 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 no te dijo, no, no dijo con quién. No, no, yo peleo donde sea, Alejandro. Yo peleo donde sea, yo trato de hacer mi trabajo donde sea, en cualquier país del mundo. Pero bueno, estamos en Estados Unidos. ¿Qué mejor país que el Estados Unidos para seguir peleando aquí en el país? Yeah, so he, he, he'll fight anywhere. Uh, he'll fight anywhere. He's willing to fight in England. Um, and then just to, to answer the, the other part, to clarify, is he doesn't think it's, sh it's shunned upon um, from the Cuban people if you turn, if you turn pro. Um, right now, basically, the, the, the amateur game is pretty much pro. They're, they're, they're fighting without headgear. Um, in his days, they weren't fighting with, I mean, they were fighting with headgear. Um, and he doesn't think, uh, he thinks that the Cuban people understand why athletes make the, make the trip and, and make the, the, uh, the sacrifice um, to turn pro to give their family, to give their families a better life. And, and, and I think that just goes to his moniker, to, you know, the American dream. That's what he represents. Alex, those are all the questions, but uh, can you have him close it out with that? Uh, just, I guess, his thoughts on being an immigrant to this country and being able to fulfill his childhood dreams, you know, I, I would be really interested to know, did he ever envision defecting, coming to America, 
becoming pro, winning the world title, or and and, and when did that dream begin? When did this? When did it start to manifest? You know, was he already very deep in the amateurs when he decided, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as a way out? Because we know how it is for Cuba. So I would just like to understand his mindset when I guess that all took place. Sí, so, so ya no hay más preguntas de los fanáticos. No, let's not give it a shot. Um, so, ya no hay más preguntas sobre um, de los fanáticos, pero Néstor está interesado en el tema que tocamos ahora, que cómo tú te sientes y te sentiste que tú viniste como inmigrante a este país y lograste todo tu sueño con, con el deporte que, que tú amas. Y, y esa, tú, tú hiciste el, el, el sueño americano. So, y cuando, cómo tú te sientes sobre eso y cuando en tu carrera, cuando tú eras Mateo, que tú te pusiste la mente que aquí es donde yo voy a hacer esto y me voy a ir profesional para, para lograr mi sueño. ¿Y, cuán, y, y cuándo empezó eso, e, 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 esos pensamientos? Bueno, yo me siento, yo me siento, me sentí muy contento por todos los logros que, que yo he logrado, ¿sabes? Que como saben ellos, saben todos los periodistas, saben todo el mundo. Eh, yo me he ganado con esfuerzo y sacrificio este, me, me sentí muy contento de también de dar un paso más grande en este país hacerme ciudadano americano ¿no? que verdad que son pocos los, los los emigrantes que vienen a este país tienen la posibilidad de hacerse ciudadano americano y yo tuve la posibilidad de hacerme ciudadano americano y lograr casi todo lo que me ha dado el boxeo y sacarle bien provecho al boxeo que ya que estoy en el boxeo de niño Yeah, I mean, he feels very proud that, that he was able to come over and, and, and fulfill his American dream. I mean, it's something that he's always had in his mindset as he, as he was a little um, kid and, and starting uh, boxing. But, um, you know, and he feels very proud that he was able to accomplish all the, 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 the titles and everything that he accomplished in the ring. But one of um, the things that made the dream really, really come true and, and is a huge accomplishment for him that not many immigrants get to accomplish is, is becoming an American citizen. Um, that he puts it up there with one of uh, his best accomplishments that he's had um, in the ring or out the ring. So, um, you know, he, he feels very proud that, that, that he, he had the opportunity to, to, do, to do that. Man, well, just thank him again, once again, for the time. Uh, I, I don't want to make it any longer. Maybe next time we'll get his thoughts on uh, his countryman, David Morrell. But tell him we wish him the best of luck in his upcoming fight, and we can't wait to get him back on it. And once again, Alex, you are the best. Para la gente. No, quiero, darle, quiero darle las gracias a ellos por tenerme presente ahí. All righty, then. Looks like we lost him. You know what's funny? I bet you he hears me. Let me mute this here. Mute this here. Oh. Hey, what happened? <laughs> Ness called it. Ness called him Masvidal. <laughs> uh, uh, so I held so it. I held it. I held it. And then right. I was like, what is this, a BMF title? <laughs> And then Mitty with the save, I was like, thank you. I was going to say it, but I was like, nah, Mitty fast smooth with the saves. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you sure. know what's crazy, right? Now I'm 100% sure that when you guys think I'm frozen, it's a software issue. You guys are the one frozen. Skype, blog talk, and me can communicate. The interview continues, so check it out. Once you guys finally reconnected and Mitty said, yo, can you hear me, right? And I'm trying to... Give him the thumbs up, not the talk, because this show is live still on this end. But okay. this monitor goes to sleep. I unsleeped it. And then the internet dropped. Can you believe that? That's insane. That's uh, weird. I'm learning. Wow. I'm learning here. So weird. The only thing is the YouTube goes out, so I don't know if you're... Yeah, because... Are we live, because are we live on YouTube? Yeah, right? we're live. We're live. Yeah, we're we live. are live. Yeah. yeah, no, the YouTube goes out because, remember, we're using... Like let's say a third party, uh, software to oh, stream I get you. I get to you. YouTube plugged in. Yeah, you're yeah, right. So okay, where it's like through API or should I say stream key? Stream key is the uh, proper term. If Call you're a hundred percent sure on that, then I'm a hundred percent sure that you're a a, a, a uh, Madrimov uh, hater, and yeah. I'm never gonna let you pick him when he becomes pound for pound. 
and you try to be his fa- his favorite fan like Canelo, I'm gonna make I, sure that you I you ain't get no tickets I, on that mean, bandwagon. It, it was a cross between Masvidal and someone else. I don't yeah. know who that someone <laughs> what else I said, is. Masvidal, you know? I thought it was like the MMA guy, like the UFC guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ness, you Ness was shooting for a BMF title matchup. <laughs> hey, listen, he's not gonna get a shot anyway. You think his team no, is gonna put him? You think his team is of gonna put him with not. Laura? No, of course, not. of course not. Nah, he will though. He will. If he's go- he probably will. Laura's old already. He he could get him. They could push for it for the name. I don't. I don't know. If Laura's side would want it though. To be honest with wow, you. Wow, Laura's, yeah. Laura's thirty seven guys. Well, remember. Y'all think he really didn't know who it was? He think he was capping. Man, get out of here. He don't know who that dude is. Come on, bro. Man, what are you talking, bro? Laura, Everybody Laura got knows like him. three Lamborghinis, bro. Last thing he's thinking about is some <laughs> Uzbekistan. Like, come on, bro. He's out there chilling. He just got out of a divorce. <laughs> he's single right now. Training. Yeah. Got that pent up aggression. Chilling in Vegas. When you Vegas. put it like that, it sounds stupid. You're right. Nah, he don't know him yet. But listen, yo, he'll lay. He'll lay. Majumov, man. Oh, really? Majumov will get laced by Lada, bro. Lada's 37. Lada, bro, Lada hits him with two of those lefts. That kid's head going to pop back like what? The Pez head. Bro, I don't know. I ain't see uh, Masvidal enough to know what you need to know. Who the hell is that? Big (laughs) champ? Cannon Shannon? He's scared, y'all. He's scared. Oh, why it sounds so like crackety? It ain't cracky. It's just like very trebly. Call you treble. He don't got his his bass ain't in the voice. But yo, we got hella picks to make. We going fast here. Ready, set, speed. Yeah. I'm going Rolando Romero midi. I'm going yeah. Michael Rivera. He's from Panama, y'all. But we going from right. Oh, wait, is that him? That ain't him. Who does who does this do, bro? Marcos Vill- Who the heck is what is this? Yo, Marcos Villasana. Oh, that is you know that is yo, that is Lazada. Why, they changed his opponent, bruv. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Who the hell is Marcos, bro? Oh, what that Ooh. mean? Marcos Villasana. What yo, read them, do me. Who is this guy? Now look, it's it's La Sarsa, no, Michelle Rivera yeah, versus yeah, yeah. versus Marcos Villasana. Villasana, my man look old as hell. Oh <laughs> hell no! Yo, yo, we can we can discuss them quickly because they they're not on the on the league oh picks anyway. So, so let, let's Jr.? talk about like what. Is what, it, is it that bad? Is it Villasana Jr.? Because the senior is 60 years, is born in 1960, so I don't nah, know. Nah, nah, nah. That's not the guy, bro. You're talking about, <laughs> you're talking about the old school old head. Bro, I don't even know. That's messed up. They put La Zara in with, junior, I mean, La go Salsa. To junior. They put La Salsa in with somebody whack. Remember, remember he was supposed to be fighting Jason Velez, y'all. What the True. hell? Or something like, no, he just fought Jason Villa. He was supposed to be fighting somebody else. I remember we had his train on. This is so disappointing. Whatever. I'm going Michael Rivera. I'm going Otto Valin. I'm going, I'm going Carlos. I'm going Carlos Negron. Y'all don't know what I'm doing right there. What I'm doing right there. I thought, oh, I thought you might have bumped. You might have bumped your toe. Nah, and bro, it's to... that y'all fucking whack, man. Where's your movie skills at? It's like, this is higher. This learning? is, yeah. <laughs> you is remember? It? Higher, higher learning. learning. You don't remember that? Y'all don't. Uh, I remember that. Yo, but y'all let do me. Y'all let do me from good. Honduras. Get it in well, that nah. Yo, well, crazy. I was, yeah, I was trying to fix something right here. Liar, I can only liar, hear you, liar. But, yeah. No, listen, uh, the Carlos Negron fight is going to be one of my favorite fights really? on this. Uh, just to see him, you know, just to see him. It's been, it feels like I, I haven't seen much of him, and he's just gotten so much hype that, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Out. He's opening it up, too. It's an eight-round heavyweight. Yo, I'm surprised this slipped past us. Yo, eh, 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 this is Carlos Negron. Remember, we were supposed to get um, who was Negron what? supposed to fight, and they pulled out. 
Damani Rock. They ain't pull out. Oh, Damani Rock. They ain't it pull just, out. It was never really there. It never, it never materialized. So he's fighting Jonathan Rice. Now remember, I was telling uh, Lovejoy to fight Jonathan Rice. He's from L.A. Info. Jonathan Rice, I think, is from L.A. I'm going to Google him. But yeah, man, I want to hear all y'all West Coast dudes picking y'all Rice, man. They called Johnny. Rice, man. Rice, man. I'm AKA going to Johnny. Go. I'm going. I'm going to get on. If 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 Mitty got all those picks, we can move on to the next card because we got. Uh, cards. I don't think I didn't make my picks. Uh, Bro, quick, let me I'll run down. Let me, uh, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. I'll, you go. Let me run down because Tiger's biting me in the ankle right now. He about to do what I don't want him to do. Uh, all right, so I went with David Benavidez, right? Um, now uh, I'm gonna pick Rolando. You already know because my man comes with the heat. He likes knocking cats out. I don't know about Jackson Marinas and. Um, Ness's uh, information on it and pick, but <laughs> I ain't going with him. I'm going with Rolando Romero. Uh, La Sarsa, Michelle Rivera. I don't know what to tell you. He's the A side, so call me I pick A sides on this one. All right? I'm going to go with Michelle Rivera. Excuse me. Yeah, Michelle Rivera. And um, hopefully, this uh, Viasana Jr. makes it an interesting fight enough so that we get some action. We get to see Michelle actually show us uh, some stuff. Uh, next one, Otto Volin, Bordy. I've got him versus Travis Kaufman. Even though Travis Kaufman made me a fan when he came on here to the Boxing Voice and gave us that interview, man, it gave me a lot of uh, insight into who he is, his character. He's a funny guy, but at the same time, he has some good philosophies in boxing. So uh, I think he's tough mentally, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm stuck between the rock and the hard place on this one because I really like Travis, but uh, I- I'm going to go with Otto Volin on this one, if I'm a betting man. And then Carlos Negron versus Jonathan Arroz. I have no clue who Jonathan Arroz is. And I mean Jonathan Rice. Maybe Info Joe could tell us something about him. You know, he's from uh, L.A. Maybe he's, uh, you know, been in the works, in the gym, and all that other good stuff, because I have no idea when the last time he fought. I'm just but, so uh, sad yeah. this isn't Darmani. It was supposed to be Darmani. Look how quick that know, came that up on us. That would have been so dope. See how it would have been good for Negron, too, because that, that name would have been sexy. Yeah, because Jonathan Rice is like, nah. but let's see if Negron can look good. This gives Negron an opportunity to get two back-to-back knockouts now. You know what I'm saying? Can he get it, though? Can he get it, though? Luis Rivera seems to believe so. Moving on to the next card, we're going to be Wait, talking. I didn't do mine either. I'll just do mine real quick rundown. Uh, Roley. <laughs> Uh, I'm going Rivera over Marcos Villanueva. <laughs> I'm picking Otto. Otto. Picking Otto. And then I'm picking Carlos Negron. All right. Go ahead, Ness. Out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. The home of Izzy Wabbit. August 15th. Live on the zone. The Undisputed Fight. A class of its own. Only few can say they hold the title of Undisputed and Jessica McCaskill out of Chicago, the Windy City, the Mean Streets, goes on versus, I think she's Costa Rican. Isn't she Costa Rican? That's the Costa Rican flag, do me? Mm-hmm. Damn, no. It's Hannah Gabriel's is Costa Rican, right? Call you Costa Rican. <laughs> Where's this one from? Uh-oh. Where's Baracus from? But anyway, Baracus is taking on uh, McCaskill. I'm making short and sweet. Barakas is old. Danish? Danish? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it's, it, it's got to be Hannah Gabriel's this Costa Rican anyway. But anyway, McCaskill, I mean... Uh, She's uh, Nor- Norwegian, man. Norwegian. 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 Yeah. Yo, the point is she's losing. How about that? She's losing. She's losing. Ooh, we know who's picking Yo. me right now. Yeah, I'm picking I'm picking. He's Jessica. trying to get up on us with this one. I'm Damn, picking, maybe I should go with Jessica. I'm picking Jessica... I got Jessica, it. we rooting for you over here on the boxing no, voice. No, uh, uh, I'm going Jessica. Oh, really? Do me. Let me see who you picked. Then, yo, I'm going Jessica. I got a wooden <laughs> casket for Barakas McCaskey. Yo, she Bro, about to beat it. Joe you Lewis's know, record, champ. Yo, listen, Bro, Ness got his cape on right now because you know damn well if I go to his Patreon, he pick, he picks in in, nope. in the in the pick'em nope. league. No, no, no. I picked I picked Barakas. I mean, I picked uh, screenshot Jessica. it, homie. Okay. I, I'll screenshot it. No problem. I do can. I'll do <laughs> it. I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. So, so, 
Yeah, I'm Go going ahead. Jessica. I'm keeping it short. Like the, <laughs> the other girls, old. I seen her get beat up in LA. It's all good. We we on this one. Jessica been training. Remember, she was one of our first interviews during the pandemic, and we like, damn, you sparring. She like, yeah, I'm. This is serious for me. I'm sparring. Yeah. So I don't know when Yo. Norwegian grandma was sparring because she's old. <laughs> no, listen. I mean, look, look, she might Go be ahead. the old one. Thirty eight years is- old. Bruh, but she, but she is skilled and experienced, and she hit hell. hard. She so look, look, look. As much as I want to say, yo, Jessica, gonna, Jessica, gonna get this. Um, if I'm a betting man, obviously I'm gonna give it to Cecilia Breakus, man. And this is sort of like a Teofimo Lopez uh, versus Lomachenko in a sense that is the young versus the older, more skilled, more experienced. You know, the the, the new up and co- the new guy. You know, trying to. Not, I don't know. I don't know. I, look, Jessica There's could probably, some parables, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's something so there. Who, who you picking? Who you, who you picking, man? Yo, you know what don't it is? Sit, Mitty, don't sit Mitty, on the Mitty, fence, man. Mitty putting the pressure on me. He leaning <laughs> on me right now. Yo, look, I'll be honest with you, man. Damn. Woo! This is a what? This is, okay. It's a 10-round <laughs> hey, round fight. Um, hey, Trey, who more did, who, 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 who mm-hmm. looked older? Who looks more dominant in a performance, Kovalev or Barakas? Come on, man. Bro, look, I'm going with Cecilia, bro. Go for it. I don't it. think you've seen Cecilia fight it. enough. Yeah, She's yeah, looked yeah. dominant, bro. Yeah, no, but like, yeah. you got you got to understand, Marioski, that Jessica is a special. She, she got she's she's cut from no, a special. No, I love clock. her. I, I think I feel like Ness is being disrespectful. Oh, though. like I, I think he's really undermining I love the love for Jessica. Set. Exactly. Yes, because here's the thing. He's talking so greasy now. If you're a casual fan listening to us and Jessica wins, they're like. Well, that girl sucked, though. She was old. You yo, know what I'm saying? So, like, let's yo. call it I, I like been, it is. This is a good-ass fight. I've been given the it, wrong information. It is information. a very good fight. It, it's Hold on, Mitty. Let me give some context. I've been given the wrong information. I kept saying Tori Nelson is the reason that I'm sounding like this and, and, and the reason that I'm picking Jessica. But this is the girl's <laughs> name. I'm, I'm screen sharing her name. Her name is uh, Callie Reese. She's the one that fought in the stub hub the day of... <laughs> Of the Gennady Golovkin fight versus oh, Vanez yeah, yeah. Moderation. Y'all were she, live for that, right? Yes. She is the one that should have probably gotten the decision. She is the one that made me believe Barakas is probably a little old and hasn't been in with that style since then, which was 18. Okay, it was 18. That's all. It's not that I'm disrespecting. I just seen her get pushed by a vet that doesn't have the luxury of Jessica McCaskill to train and spar and take an eight-week camp. And, you know, listen, women's boxing doesn't pay well. Jessica has a very good job in the financial industry. Her job cut gives her the luxury of, of, of taking off to train. So it's just a different animal to compare this girl to that girl but this girl is bigger as you can see this girl has always been heavy so that could have gave Barakas some issues as well weight and experience but that's it i'm not being disrespectful just giving you my reasons that's nope. all yeah it's a three three, three, three year to, difference to me, three year difference to, to me it's not about age or anything i think it's a, it's going to be an interesting fight and it's going to be a clash of style right so the, the boxer who likes to have a little bit of space and move around to do her work, which is Brekus, uh, versus the pressure fighter in McCaskill. And when she gets involved, uh, which she almost always does, uh, it's interesting, right? It's a fight. So uh, I'm going to pick mm, Jessica. I'm going to pick uh. Jessica because I, I think that the pressure will tell. Uh, but we could all be awfully wrong because if Brekus finds a range and if she decides to box and... Uh, she could make Jessica look right. silly if you know if Jessica just like decides just to constantly plod forward and you know lets her hands go and try maybe, to maybe, punch let me thin let me air. let me try to persuade you let me try to persuade you Jessica oh, you want to yeah chance yeah, from, yeah yeah I'm gonna try McCaskill to persuade you. To look yeah. Jessica McGaskill sixty rounds in the ring break is two hundred eighty four under the lights yeah, right that, that counts that range you just spoke about right. That is that is what I'm counting on, right? I'm counting on her experience and her range to nullify that McCaskill dog. You know what I'm saying? That dog fight. 
So now that you see 284 rounds and there's only a three age, three year age difference, do you still pick McCaskill? I pick McCaskill because I want to believe in her. And I've also mm-hmm. seen like a, a few things in uh, breakers. Like, you know, I can't remember who she was fighting, but like at some point, like pressure got to her. And maybe it was like an off day. And, but, you know, girl was able to put pressure on her. And if McCaskill can do it in an educated way and not get like, you know, completely outboxed and just kind of rush forward, because there's, a specific way that you have to put pressure, right? There, there's no point running forward like a madman or a mad woman with someone who knows what they're doing. They're going to pop the jab, pivot, see you pivot. later, come back, boom, boom, and just, you know, and you're going to look very stupid and silly. And if she does that, she might even get stopped. But, you know, I don't think she'll do that. You know, I want to believe that, you know, she'll put that educated pressure and pressure burst pipes, man, so Maybe let's see. I'm gonna, yeah, and I'm he quoted Jay-Z. And he quoted Jay-Z, champ. Oh, man, I'm, I'm I, gonna I apologize. quoted James Tony, man. Forget <laughs> Jay-Z, man. <laughs> I, I, I want to apologize, Mitty. I, I was ready for, I was, I was like, okay, as soon as he's done, I'm going to call him out on it. And I was about to call you out and think, because I thought, I felt like for a little bit, you were trying to get the persuasion for the pickums so that people would go with her, go with Jessica, and then you were gonna pick Cecilia. But you know what? You're too good a dude. I know you wouldn't do that. So I apologize for that. But all that will be transparent, man. All that will be transparent. So don't worry. Absolutely. Listen, I I I watched a couple of their fights last night and uh I I put this down. Um oh shoot, this is the wrong side. Um I think it's exactly the way that Mitty said it. I think that she has to punch when 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 Cil- Cecilia is not. She needs to not just be first. She needs to punch with her. You know, she needs to put the pressure on. She can't let Cecilia get into a groove. You know, if Jess is, Jessica's going to win this fight, it doesn't have to be because she threw a million more punches. It has to be because she always threw the one punch before and the one punch after. You know what I mean? Every time Cecilia is willing to exchange... She has to beat her to the punch. She can't let her get comfortable. So um, that said, I am picking Cecilia. I, listen, I don't mind losing this week. I really don't if Jessica wins. I would love it for Jessica to win. I want her to win. That said, I'm not playing around in this game. I'm winning. You know, <laughs> people try to come from my host chair all the time. You know what I'm saying? They come at my host chair. So, so it's like this is my chance to put it on paper. So when the trolls come and they're like, I don't like Mario. Oh, his mustache is stupid. I'm like, you know what? Look at the records. I'm beating y'all every week. Yo, if Cecilia wins. Joseph, (laughs) getting it. Supermax, I meant getting it. Mitty, getting it. Info, getting it. All of them. I'm beating them all. He's, uh... He's beating them all, folks. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Cecilia, yo, Cecilia... (laughs) <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Cecilia, bro. She, how do you guys feel about this seventy-two-year-old record that that she might break? You know, if she beats Jessica, you know, uh, uh, the Joe man, Lewis boxing. Man, I don't care about none of those records, man. You know what they say? Records are for DJs, man. Like so, you know. It, yeah. it means that, I mean, the, it's the fighter have, midi is on right now. I mean, it, it's okay to talk about those records and all those things. They get broken, Mitty. man. Don't worry about those. Yo, talk oh, to me. Damn, I thought that was Luke, but that was uh, that's Capitio. No, that was George, but I meant to add Javier. I need Javier to add answer, not George. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Javier, if you're listening, just jo- answer that Skype call. Chill. He didn't answer. S- Skype call. Oh, he got he got Luke with them. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's got he's got like uh, Santa Maria. Santa Maria. To, yeah. to bring on the call. Yo. Yo, I wish yeah. we were doing last week's fight. Nah, you know what? Never mind, because I would have gotten that Delorme one wrong. But I picked that Santa Maria. That would have been a big win for me. Like, that would have put me ahead of everybody. Yeah, Santa- oh, but Doomy picked him too, so never mind. Santa Maria went in then. Yo, Mario, you seen that flyway? <laughs> uh, what, what weight is that? 108, 105? What's that? He's a champ. Wilfred? Nah, the one I put in the pre-pro, the champ. Champ! You see him? 
I didn't see who you put. Yo, I did put the Mexico fights on. I was like, you Felix know what? Alvarado. We, keep, we put. Oh, Felix Alvarado. He's the IBF champ in the 110 or 110, 105, 108. The Nicaraguan. Nah, I ain't seen him fight, though. Mm. Why? Uh, Because we could get we, him on the show. We getting him on? Him on? Oh, him yeah, on. get him on. Bring him on. Yo, where have you? Let me hear Javier one more time. One more time. Remember that one more time. Da, 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 da. In the end, did I? Uh, did you? You picked all of them, right, Mario? You picked Carlos Negron. Yo, Mario. Yeah. They yeah, said super Negron. chat from Herman. Yeah, this says, "Tell Mario to toss that hat." Cheating ass team. Laugh out loud. Great work, champs. Mm. <laughs> what you got all on? Right, there? All right, all right. Damn, bro. I thought it was yeah. backwards. No, I'm just playing. Um, like Houston all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Shout out Super Mex. Uh, yeah, but listen, we got, speaking of uh, Ness's favorite fighter, Madrimoff is why, also Let's make those on. picks on whatever while we wait for him because I, I'm, I'm like yeah. waiting for okay, him. Okay, cool. I'll, I got Madrimoff. Uh, yeah. I got Ford and I already picked Nikita, so. Yeah, right, so. um, wow. Oh, it's Chakram, Chakram. I too. was about to say, you ain't picked Chakram, Gaiasev, which yeah. is, isn't that, uh, Gaiasev, uh Dimitri Gaiasev. Salida's fighter? That's a yes. Good, that's a Salida fighter, I believe. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going the same. I'm going, uh, all A-sides except Barakas. Except for Matesco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, same as Eunice. Like so, all A side I uh, except from Macasco, and I really don't know Gayasov, so I'm gonna go uh, based on your recommendation, guys, and you know I get to see him. So, yeah, but. I got yo. I didn't even pick that one, but I, yeah, I definitely got Nikita, uh, Bobby, uh, Raymond Ford. See, these are guys are just coming up right now, but I'll go A side. I pick A sides. On that one, who? Yeah, I don't even know how to. So, 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 so you pick breakers, right? So we we definitely concluded concluded. Breakers, yeah, breakers, yeah, yeah. I'm a breakers, it's bro. Me. You're going for it's the two hundred rounds. The champ right? versus uh, I'm going the for coach that. of the Dominican nightmare. I don't think the three year difference in age is huge. I think the difference is in the amount of, bro, of hey, rounds. Bro, bro, and it's I don't in think the she's rounds. The yeah. my issue. It's in yeah. the rounds, Asian. homie. She got like 150 something more rounds. She's old, bro. Like, but whatever. Keep losing. Uh, it, bro, keep losing. Like, That's why we keep a score my, now. You know, That's why we keep a score of... now. Word, right, Benny. Yeah, all right, all right. Calling, calling her old Ooh. and shit. So, so that that's that card on the uh, on the US, and th there's one more US card, which is a Telemundo card. Uh, yeah, card, right? yeah. But first, we gotta yeah. go to cash. We gotta go to cash across the pond. It's fight week, week three of fight camp, and we're gonna have Shannon, uh, Courtney, Cash, uh, Felix, Felix Cash, Cash versus, uh, versus Wellborn, Jason Wellborn. So, you know, we could talk about this and then we'll round it out with Telemundo. Telemundo, I got kind of a surprise. I don't know if I'm right, but whatever. We'll find out together. Well, I'm actually proud you know who they're who who's fighting, so Telemundo. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, you're gonna Telemundo? introduce us to these guys because they ain't talking about I, hear you, I mean like you know. You talking about Telemundo or you talking about the... Yeah, guys? the Telemundo. About, the Telemundo. Oh, I didn't I know who was fighting fight until you sent it to me, but I oh, was uh, cool, cool. I was expecting, actually, um, Ofacio, Ofacio Jr. What's his last name? Ofacio something. The, we had him on this show. He's scheduled for Telemundo. There's a few post-boxing dudes that I, I, I deal with post-boxing management, and we've had, like, Albert Bell. They got Albert Bell. They got, like... Um, I don't think they have Jared Anderson, but they deal with certain people. And, yeah, I got put on uh, the Telemundo cards. Wow, that they were going to start doing their own bubble fights. And I'm waiting for Facio Jr. to be on there because, um, you know, he's a, he's a good talent. Where is he from? Do you know this, Facio? Uh, is Florida. he Mexican, Puerto Rican? He's Puerto Rican and something, I think. Maybe Puerto Rican, Dominican, maybe. He's from Florida. Oh, but he's Facio. From, but he might be from the Bronx, too. Something like that, yeah. you know, kind of like T.O. All right, all right. We, we don't know about we the got Bronx. A, Let's go. We got a Let's super go chat. To... Sorry about that, Mitty. Yo. We got a super chat Ooh. real quick from um, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like oh, wow, wow, looks wow. like we got an opponent, baby. Looks like we got an opponent. The next victim on the chopping block for Elvis. You ain't nothing but a hound yeah, dog, that. Rodriguez. Um. All right, but we got a super chat from where is who that? is it? Uh, no, you didn't even say who it was. I know. I thought that's where you were going. I can't what the hell give you, was that? That was the give, worst breaking news I ever. I can't give you all my tips at once. First, I got a super chat. Now that I got your attention, I got the super chat for you from... <laughs> like, he acted like he did it on purpose. The commissioner who says, thoughts on greatness promo, Boxing Balls 13. All right, so now I got to screen share this because he wants you to have the thoughts on the promo. So yeah. it, 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 while we do that, while we do that, um, you know, we can talk about the main event, Mitty, pass it over to you, Felix Cash versus Wellborn. Should Yo. we be watching this? Yeah, I'm, you my should time, be. Listen to me. Listen to me. My time and all my American viewing boxing fans' time is precious. The, the name, you know, you just said it. You talked about boxing fans. So if you're boxing fans, you sh definitely should be watching that regardless of, you know, where, you know, where the fighters come from. So, yes, you should definitely watch that. On top of that, you should be familiar with Jason Wellborn. Uh, you would have seen him against Jared Hurd. Uh, I mean, he got Jared, stopped by Jared, Jared Hurd. watched him? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he watched him, but he just stopped him. <laughs> he stopped him nice, right? But then for uh, maybe two, three rounds, you would have been, you know, questioning Jared Hurd a little bit and say, oh, why is he getting touched up by someone who we don't think is on his level? So that was like an opportunity for Jason Wellborn to prove that he's world level and he's not, right? <laughs> so, uh, but I, yo. Okay. Mitty, you always do that. I told you. The <laughs> message is to let you know once you're done, the producer will be jumping in with a message, not to just stop all you. All right, all right, all right, all right. But, <laughs> but anyway, like, Jason Wellborn, like, you know, you've seen him at least, but the attraction here is not him. It's Felix Cash. It's a guy that you probably are not familiar with, uh, but it's someone that is getting pushed. Again, it's like a, a very good... Uh, amateur uh, that is making a name in the division and that is like on the collision clash uh, course with like some of the good 154 pounders in the UK domestically at least if you listen to him he's ready for the bigger name in the division and like on the on the world level so on Saturday it's a test for him if he does it better than Jared Hurd what are you going to say Right, so you're gonna say Yo. maybe we want to keep an eye on this guy. Dude, Felix uh, Cash looked like a machine. That's bro. a good way to. That's a good way to keep me interested. Can he do better than Jared Hurd? I like that. Now that I got your attention, though, boxing bars yeah. 13 Saturday, uh, which is what the 14th? No, 15th. Saturday the yep. 15th, uh, hosted by myself. The main event is gonna feature the one true champion lost his belt. Uh, on a technicality, right? You said something about an orgy. What did you do? Mario I don't stepped even away remember. Again? Nah, he got. Then you lose to. Oh no, I said. Uh, I said pushy. Oh yeah. But yeah. I slipped. Yeah, you said pussy cat. That being That's said, nice. he lost his belt on a technicality, giving Idris the time to shine, which he had a killer bar, a killer verse that 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 day. But Mario got his belt back. He's taking on Natural Wiz, giving the Canadian a. Voluntary hey. title shot. Yes. Hey. Yeah, I mean, all, all, all Wiz got to do now is Yo, come through like he drinks. This is the Rocky moment, all right? I'm Apollo right now, but don't think it's going to end up that way. All right, I'm letting Rocky Balboa from Canada, the Canadian stallion, we'll call him, get his shot. We'll see what he does. We'll see what the champ does. Go away. Go back to the Yo. That's right. Yo, where's I mean at? Oh, they go, I mean, all right, 908. I see you, champ. I see you. I mean, won't be on this when they say he got a, a business affair, but in the main event opening act, yours own. Alexander Lyon is in New Jersey, a.k.a. Doomsday, dropping his second single, When We Were Champions. Hello, <laughs> Nah, 
was when, the, <laughs> when we were chasing. Well, why he disrespectful like that? He know what the title is. No, nah, I don't. I don't. But I like to fuck with him anyway. <laughs> when we were chasing. <laughs> What's the what name of the somebody title? Somebody had that as the name of their song. That was yeah, yeah, I actually thought hilarious. he was. He was he was trying to name the next song and shit. Yeah, is it? <laughs> I thought he was talking about what We Are Champions. I think he was like, We. No? no that's not the song. That's <laughs> we Will Rock You. Champion. Yeah, We Are. There you go. What's the name of the song, Champ? Nah, nah. Heart look. of a Champ. Heart of a yeah, Champ. The fir first one was The Heart of a Champ. The Heart of a Champion. This one, I'm going to dedicate it more to like the boxing bars movement. You know, I'm. Mm, uh, that's what's up. Just getting some ideas, so I'm just gonna dedicate some just to everybody, you know, everybody involved. Just tribute. It's gonna be a tribute piece. <laughs> Brandon said, "Well born, it's butt cheeks." Yo, so on the undercard, we got we got <laughs> Silver back coming off oh. the biggest win of his career, still <laughs> fighting with the rankings for proper rankings after destroying the number three. You know, uh, Silverback was twelve. Ranked number twelve when he took on the number three, and they didn't they didn't re-rank him properly. But he's taking on Sony specifically to beat up on the commissioner for not knowing how to freaking truly rank fighters. Then we got opening that uh, JP of Long Beach ECP Zone. So that's your card right there, champs. Uh, catch us on Saturday if you want to be part of boxing bars. You already know get with Sony or Greatness or Stainless. And, uh, yeah, back to our message. regularly scheduled program. Yeah, message. We've got a super chat from me day that says, like, you guys are hell disrespectful, man. Like, bringing up, like, interrupting the matchroom cards <laughs> for boxing bars, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I didn't Yo. even think of it like that. <laughs> Bro, that's, a, that, that's the commissioner. He knows how to get right in, man, where he can fit in. But listen, I mean, the, the truth is you've just made me interested. I like the way you put a narrative on it. Like, all right, let's see can this guy do better than Jerry Hurst. So now I might watch the main event, and I might watch Shannon Courtney. I might. I mean, like, you're missing some good you, fights, yeah, just so I, you I know. Think Zel Zelfa Barrett is someone that you want to keep an eye on also. I, I'm not going to lie and tell you that I know Eric Donovan. But at least, you know, I'm so interested and, in, you know, invested in, like, Zelfa Barrett that I want to see the skills. Again, that's an upcoming uh, uh, fighter, like, so who's, like, knocking at the door of just, like, maybe domestic, like, um, you know, I want to say bigger title and then just, like, you know, elevating himself to kind of, like, regional title and then taking over to... Uh, world honors, but you want to see him. You want to see the guy is slick, he's got the skills. Uh, he's a bit like, you know, spiteful with his work and his punches. Uh, I don't know, you know, it doesn't necessarily translate into like that kind of like punching power that will get stoppage, but it's someone who is skillful and I think you will enjoy. And I think he's there to put on a show. So, yo, but but tell me why the last dude to beat Zelf of Barrett put him down and then yeah. retired. Then he I mean, retired. Like, listen, I gotta screen listen. share this guy. I gotta screen listen. share this guy. You guys need to see this who happens, beat Zephyr. Man. Look at Zephyr. This look, is box. Look at the Zephyr killer right here. This the Ze <laughs> This listen, guy this is the Zephyr killer. My yeah, man. But you watch him and you'll just tell me, like, you know, we, we always do this, right? So when it comes to Sunday, you're going to say, oh, I actually like Zelfa. So, you know, I'm just telling I'm you. I'm not just saying No, I you know what? Lie. That's a good point because I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Look, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know very – I mean, I knew who Jason Wellborn was. But other than that, I didn't know very many <laughs> – I did just see him on the screen. <laughs> Listen, I've exactly, seen the cards, bro. Exactly. They that's what, that, that's cards, what bro. you know. When, when you can't okay, keep a okay, straight so face. Happy, You're being disrespectful. Listen, what? That's, that's the who? cards have been. No, the he looks shock. crazy. Bro. His name he is The crazy, Shark. Bro. His name is The Shark, and he's from the UK. He got a 37% knockout, and he put Zephyr on his back, beat him, and retired two years ago. He ain't been back since. Yo. Bro, this I is don't know what pre it happens, on, but it um, happens. Hey, yo, how Eddie? <laughs> how Eddie ain't offered this dude money to come out of retirement? <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I honestly, Easy honestly, baby in the chat. <laughs> honestly, I would, I would offer this dude. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, yo. You guys look serious, easy, man. Easy, <laughs> easy, easy. No, I'm right. My man looked like he on meth. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. These cards have been fantastic. They really have. Like, you know, there have been like one or two oh, duds. I'm screaming but, uh, again. But the cards have been good. I think they're good enough that, you know, you got to give them a shot now. You know what I mean? Like, they, they've delivered. So I think it's only fair that you give it the shot because of that. You know, they've been good fights. It's just the truth. Liar, liar. Pe- oh, I got a soundbite for that, actually. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Why the f- you? Lying? Lying. Why are you know. always lying? Ah. Ah. I think Javier is oh, ready. Wait. Let me see. He said, can so, I send again? So I'm going to try and call again, but I'll let me just put it here. <laughs> Brandon Maurice. Oh, man, bro. Yeah, these people are killing us. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fed, no. <laughs> that, oh, yo, yo, no, that's some dangerous stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go all A-sides. Because You're going all A side, okay. yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know who else is there. Uh, well, I do. A lot of I did make context, my. Right? I do know with with the with the fights that were in the, um, you know, pay, with with in the post, you know, uh, for just, us. Just for like, context, right? Just for context, like the fight where a lot of people are talking about uh, an upset on that card uh, potentially is the Shannon Courtney versus Rachel Ball, right? Because Rachel is coming on, coming in with like some, like I think kickboxing pedigree. She's talking about like uh, you know world champion or multi world champion in that discipline. There's no kicking allowed, obviously, but you know a lot of people are talking about like an experienced fighter that is there. Uh, to offer some kind of resistance with Shannon Courtney, right? So let's see. Javier, right. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not picking that, by the way. Hey, I got to find an extension. I'm going to need that extension cord. Javier. Hey, hey, what's up, Nash? What's up? You got what's any up, headphones or no? What's up? Do I have headphones? No. Damn. Is it too much noise here? No, it, it isn't any, but just so you could be be able to hear us properly, and we don't, and, and, and for us not to get any feedback. But uh, how are you, brother? How's everything going? Good, good, good. I got Luke right here. Perfect, perfect. We're we're dying to meet him. All right. Yeah. Right. Luke, what's what up, what up, Luke, man? What's how going are on, you? man? Congrats. What's going on, man? Thank you. Thank you. Yo, listen, I'm going to tell you, I, I picked against you because I know I know uh, Michael Fox, man. I know him for a long time, him and his brother. And I'm, I'm from yeah, the yeah. East Coast. And, you know, yeah. look, your trainer came on like two weeks before and told us everything about you. But, like, I know Michael. And I thought he got robbed his last fight. But, yeah, that was a good uh, fight, man. That was a good fight, man. What could you tell us? Congratulations. Back and forth, man. We're going back and forth. It was really, it was a good fight, man. It was a good fight. Yeah, that's two back-to-back PBC upsets, though, right? I mean, I mean, I guess yeah, you won't consider. Back, back, man. Okay. Oh, so you oh, do man. consider them upsets? You know, you felt you were supposedly the underdog both times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's we went as B side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, so, so we, we 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 know how it is. <laughs> Man, you look happy, man. You look happy, bro. Congrats. Should be. I'm happy, man. This 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 big this victory was important to me. Also, I just had a daughter, man. So it's these these congratulations on that, congrats, brother. They've been they've been crazy for me, you know. Yeah, a lot a lot has happened. Congratulations. I'm so happy to hear that, bro. I love it. I love it. Listen, did the fight go the way you thought it was gonna go? Like, were there any things that weren't expected? I mean, you know, we know the. We know him, but at the same time, like, you know, coming in, did anything go different, I guess? You know what? We we expected a tough fight, man, because he's 6'4". Six 6'4", four. He's, six yeah. four. He's, left. he's lefty, you know, so so we knew we were in for a long night. And it, and, and it was kind of a last-minute a last minute thing because we were supposed to fight um, some other guy from uh, from Cuba, I think. And they changed they changed the the opponent. I think two or two and a half weeks or maybe three weeks. And and so we had a little bit of time to prepare, you know. But we um 
we were sparring good people, so so we knew we were ready for for whatever they brought, you know. Go hey, ahead, go. hey, Lucas, it's good to have you on, champ. Well done. Congratulations for the win, right? Just a quick question for me. Like, do you feel that the knockdown in the first round played a part in the way you approached the rest of the fight? It seems like, you know, you you felt that you were going to uh, going to be able to put him away and you, you started the second round really, really hard and you kept going with that same intensity. So did that play a role into yeah, you know, the way what, you fought? Yeah, once we once we dropped them, you know, we um we, we try to finish. And and when I came back to the corner, my, my coach he told me, you know what, calm down, calm down, you know? Because you can't get too anxious, you know. That's dangerous, especially with a fighter like that. him. You know what I mean? So so that's when we started calming down a little bit and look, we still were looking for the for the knockout, but but you know it didn't come. Like I said, he's tough, man. It's tough. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I've seen that. You know, I've seen like you know, you really wanted to get the finish. So, and it's good that you adjusted a little bit and slowed down the pace. But uh, I mean, like, shout out, you fought a good fight. Uh, were you surprised by the way that uh, he was able to handle the inside work? Because he's a very tall fighter, uh, but he was doing well on the inside. Did that surprise you? Yeah, you know, we didn't we didn't expect him to fight me inside. You know what I mean? We expected him to like use the distance a lot. So you know that was a little surprising. But you know what? Um, we knew he was ready. He came to fight, so so we were ready for all kinds of styles. Lucas, it's Alex, man. Congratulations, bro, on the win. Uh, Thank you, and congratulations on your newborn, brother. I know that's a great feeling to have both of those things happen in the same time span. So oh, yeah. you know, God, God bless for that. Uh, look, man, I, I, you were the shorter fighter, and we knew that from the beginning. Um, I always feel like the shorter fighters have uh, somewhat of an advantage, especially if, they, if they're if they well-versed on the inside. Uh, were you and Coach Capetillo, uh, uh, how do you say this, uh, concerned about the height, or did you look at it as an advantage towards you? Because I saw a lot of Joe Frazier movement from you, bro. You were just dipping, dipping, slugging, slugging. Uh, uh, w w w was that an advantage for you? Or, or, or were you looking at it like it's in a disadvantage? You know what? My my last two fights have been against a, a 6'2 and then a, a 6'1. So we're kind of like used to fighting taller people. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we weren't looking at it as, a, as an advantage or disadvantage. You know, it's just we had we had to fight, fight inside, and that's all we knew. Fight inside, fight inside. You know what I mean? Because he was long, man. That guy, was he was long. He, he was... You know, he was, he was too long to fight him in the outside. Hey, if you were to fight, like, uh, another fighter, someone who's not that long, right, uh, do you consider, like, your boxing ability as, like, a good one in terms of, like, using your jab and using your distance a little bit? Or, you know, do you yeah, see yourself uh, more as a boxer? Or? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I use my jab a lot more. It's just for um, this this time I you know I couldn't I was just trying to get in the inside and um but yeah in other fights I definitely use my jab a lot more I'm more technical you know what I mean but it's just this time this fight wasn't it wasn't it wasn't to be fought technically you know we had to yeah. make it a healthy fight understand you know you have to fight whoever you have in front of you so you have to adapt your style exactly. so yeah good job on that man yeah thank you man thank you. So, Lucas, who who have you been sparring, I guess, since uh, 2015? That's about five years now that has given you and your coach, I guess, the, 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 the reason to continue to take these step-up fights. Because, obviously, uh, when you go to your resume, if you see those fights, you're looking at those Mexico fights, and you have to yeah. consider, you know, that, that, that raises a red flag, but then... You 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 yeah. got on the scene and you're getting these big wins, uh, you know, over uh, Taylor Jones and Fox now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how did you guys know you were ready? You know what? It's, the reason why we fought in TJ was because we had we had a, a um, we had some some issues with my manager, and so and so because of that we had to fight a lot in Mexico. You know what I mean? But you know what? I, I, we were only planning to do um, the beginning of our career, and then once I came to the United States, unfortunately, I, I won. I won that fight against uh, Timothy Lee, which was a, a prospect, you know. And but unfortunately, we that's when we got into um, you know to some issues with my managers, and that's when we had to go to TJ. So that's why we fought a lot in, in, in TJ, man. 
But I mean, thank God everything everything's resolved, and now we're we hit the, we hit the U.S. hard, man. Do you know what's next or when you can be back? And are you? Uh, I guess we don't have a day right now. We don't we don't have a day right now, but but you know we're we're, we're gonna look into that real soon. Are you guys obligated to PBC, or are you kind of free to do what you want? Um, you know, we're not we're not signed with anybody right now, so we're not obligated to fight under just PBC. But you know, um, Mr. Sam Watson and uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Al Heyman, you know, they're they're giving us a, they gave us an opportunity, you know, and so we're thankful for that. We're thankful for that. So uh, and we're loyal people, man. So we might as well just stick with PBC. You know what I mean? For sure, the, for sure. So I don't know. I I don't want to uh, hog you here, but but but. What would your next three fights be if you had, you know, a magic lamp and you rubbed it and you could get your next three? Realistic, though. Not you trying to be rich and you wanting your big pay-per-view right now. Realistically, yeah. who do you, your next three fights, who do you think they should be? Shit, you know what, man? I, I haven't even thought about that. But you... Honestly, whoever it is, man, whoever it is, I feel like we're at a point right now where we're 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 ready for that next jump. You know what I mean? And I think I proved I proven that I proven that with my last three fights. You know? Definitely, definitely. Yo, uh, yeah. so would you say that you are gonna continue? I mean, because I know you said you don't know and you haven't thought about it, but are you gonna continue yeah. to try to take? those opportunities where you're the uh, underdog, you try to pull that upset, or do you want to get to a position where, you know, you can try to get, you know, some fights in that aren't necessarily maybe not even on TV, just developmental fights? You know, you know what? That, that's um, that's all to be talked about real soon, you know what I mean? I think this fight opened a lot of doors for us. So Definitely. So that conversation is definitely going to be, be one that we're going to come upon. But right now, as of right now, you know what? I don't. I couldn't tell you. Did oh Fox say anything to you after the the win? What was that? Did Fox say anything? Did Michael say anything to you after the win? Uh, not much was said, but they're, they're humble. Him and his brother and 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 uh, his his other coaches, humble humble people, man. Humble. We actually uh, we 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 uh, we were in the same elevator going up to the room. You know, hey, they're cool people, man. Cool, cool. people. So, hey, uh, Luke, uh, you know, the one thing was, I think a lot of people, while they thought there was a great fight, a lot of people thought that 99-90 scorecard was a little off. Uh, what did you think about that? Did you think that that was an accurate scorecard? Sure, you know what? The fight was so close, it could have it could have been that or, or it could have been, uh, you know. My job was to fight, man. I want to fight. You know the judge's job is to judge. I can't. I can't. You know. I can't really. Great answer. I mean. Great answer. But, uh, but that was. It was. It was a little. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great fight. It was a great yeah, fight. It man. was. It was, man. It was. It was. I got a lot of experience from me. You know, my first ten round fight. So. Did so you feel? I mean, did you feel tired since it was your first ten round, or you think you felt good? I feel good, man. I feel good, and you know what? What I, I closed. I closed a fight really strong too. So. I feel like all that had to had had to do with the uh, with the scoring as well. You know what I mean? Mm, but yeah, definitely. I didn't I didn't feel too tired, man. But you know. So are you I, already? I feel, like sore, I feel sore as as you know what the next day, but <laughs> but other than that, I feel, I feel good, man. <laughs> so are you still in recovery, or are you already back in the gym? You know what? For the first time in all my fights, my coach gave me a couple of days, man. And because of my baby as well, you know, he's like, you know what? Go home, take some days with your baby, and and, and be back soon. Cool. So you know, I'm probably be back on Monday, man. Be back on Monday. Congrats, man. We're happy for you, man. We're happy everything worked out for you. Listen, if you got any social media, give it out so that uh, anybody who isn't following you can do so. Right. And, and and we're gonna definitely get you on regularly now. As soon as you. Have your next Good, fight man. announced. We'll get you back on, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, definitely, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys can follow me on the uh, Luke underscore Santa Maria. There's a couple of accounts made under Lucas or whatever, but it's Luke underscore Santa Maria. That's on IG or Twitter? 
Yeah, that's on Instagram. That's Instagram. on Instagram. Okay. I don't All have right. I don't have a Twitter right now, but I'm a, I'm gonna make one. Yeah. Right. Already already following that's you, up. champ. And yo, and keep it keep it Luca Santa Maria across the board. Don't get no crazy Twitter handle where people don't even yeah. know who it is. I right, yeah, champion. Yeah, people want to get familiar with you. Keep it simple, champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, my my uh, my name on the Instagram is Luke underscore Santa Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, it. They call me Lucas too, but but it's Luke. Yeah. Luke, we got you. I see. And yeah, I'm just looking at the picture right now with you and your lady, man. That's what's yeah. up. Brother. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, congrats again, man. Oh yeah, I'm already, you, I'm already following you. Boxing Voice is already following. Well, thank you uh, once again, Luke Mantel, uh Javier. We appreciate him for getting you on for us, and we look to get you back on soon, man. As soon as you guys got an announcement, you know we want it. Sounds good, man. Appreciate you guys. All right, take it All easy. Right. Enjoy Thanks. the rest of your day. There you have it, ladies right. and gents. Luke Santa Maria. Um, he is under Luke L U K E, like Luke. I am your father. But, <laughs> damn it! I'm about to call him back. Fuck, no! No! Maurice Lee, yeah! No! <laughs> what? Luke! He sparred with Maurice. Luke! Yeah, yeah. Pick up Luke! In Jesus' name. Oh, my God. Answer the <laughs> phone! In Jesus' name. Uh, I don't see. Gonna... Oh, damn. There it is. Luke, answer. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? I had uh, scrolled right by it. Ah, he's not answering. Hell. Getting that workage. Yo, how you guys didn't catch that, bro? Bro, I, he I, in I, there with your Danny Zugas, too. I scrolled right by it. Like, no joke. I literally didn't even. Damn. It didn't even. Javier, register. if you listen and call back. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the look, he's it's Javier Salas and uh Santa Maria Yo, and your daddy. That, that was some good story. work. I want that story. Luke, I am your father. It's still ringing, too, bro. He they what's up? <laughs> Ness is like Luke. <laughs> Damn, they didn't answer. They didn't answer. I'm going to try one more time or what? Nah, I'll let it go. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> I thought good, man. We I'm get Luke back go. on. I mean, I know that's some interesting conversation Word right there. Word is born, man. Damn. How y'all dropped the ball? Nah, bro. How like, y'all dropped the ball? Like I got this too. I know, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. Bro, look at the last dude he fought on a Charlo on the car. My man been fighting tall dudes. Yeah, now you know, and I wanted to mention that because, like, you know, we, we had Ivan on the other day and we spoke about that stuff. Some guys that are shorter really know how to use that to their advantage, others don't. Bruh, he in the ring with ambitious Lee. Y'all sleeping, y'all sleeping, man. How we slept on that look, and I already hearted it, so I was already aware and forgot. No. Damn, in Jesus' name. Let's go. Where are we at with this, Mitty? Back to your car. <clears throat> Mitty, everything is interrupting your car. What's up with that? Hey, no, don't worry. I think the, the shows have been canceled anyway, so you don't have to worry about what? that. What? I don't think there's any more cars in the UK this weekend. You lying. <laughs> what? Sarcasm. Oh, Sarcasm. I was like, Dillian right. White, what? <laughs> Yo, but wait, but wait. I'm glad you brought up Dillian White because I sent you a message in the pre-pro. Does that mean the zone don't get the Dillian White because that is a pay-per-view? No, oh, they said that they negotiated it to be on the zone. No, they have it on the zone. Yeah, so now they you know, do. Because they the pay-per-views like, don't go on the zone yeah, automatically. Yeah, the deal, the deal with the zone and Sky doesn't automatically include the pay-per-view. That's what you're saying. But they managed to land the. Uh, the 22nd of August card on the zone. So if you have the zone, you will see that card Better. on the zone. Right? Better. Because yeah. we'd, we'd have Better. been freaking sending zone letters to a, I mean, they to needed to man. get that car, bro. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. But uh, I think everybody made their picks on that one, right? Rich Kid said he thought the storm might have canceled the chill. Man, you can't be getting people triggered like that. No, no, no. I was literally, I, mean, about, I, I was I, like, I'm just, I'm just I was about going to hang by up. There. 
I, you know, with Mitty Chalk, we, we take you kind of serious, Mitch. I, I, I'm just <laughs> going by the, the general interest on that car. That, that's why. So I thought that, you know, I'll drop that and people will say, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't no, want to no, watch no, that. No, 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 we well, want it. We want no, it. No. Well, <laughs> we, we, we got to introduce that's a good ass car, too. We're, we're making hell picks. Sell for a rat, Barrett. So, yeah. I mean, like yeah. that's the the matchroom the the matchroom card, right? So you have like two cards. You have one on Friday, so that's the fight camp from uh, um, matchroom, and then on the Saturday, uh, you have the uh, Frank Warren promotion, like Queensbury uh, promotion, uh, with Carl Frampton, Michael Condon, so and uh, another fight like that's headlining. Oh, that's right. That, you know, damn against, Mario uh, ain't even put Archie that. <laughs> you know what time? Play. Uh, bro, Manchester. you know what, man? I swear to God, I must have uh, just passed it. Um, because I, re- I knew like it was going. I just, no, no, no. I just missed it somehow. I don't know how I did that. Uh, he said, "Friend, yo, real quick, prime. you know what time that's on, Mitty? What What do you mean, like the, the uh, Mike Conlon? Um, I mean, like the card will probably start around seven p.m. our time, so that's two p.m. Eastern. Uh, Michael Conlon will be. I want to venture and say it's like between 8.30 and 9 p.m. all time. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, so. All right. Dope, yeah. dope, dope. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it wasn't going to cut. Like, I didn't want any of the fights to overlap. I mean, obviously, some of the fights are going to overlap, but that no, card I don't think they will. I no, not think just think one, about definitely. Darren, uh, Mitty. Uh, are you, are you, are you, that, you know, I mean, that, that Darren Trainer is a last minute um, uh, replacement, right? So exactly up until Sunday this week. Uh, Carl Frampton didn't have like an opponent. I think like the story is that like uh, Queensby promotion had like a few administrative issues with the original opponents, which was another guy that I wasn't like overly familiar with, but it was traveling from somewhere in Eastern Europe. Uh, something happened anyway, he couldn't travel. Uh, then uh, they managed to find like a, a last minute opponent in Darren Trainer. Uh, again, I don't know much of uh, about the guy, but I know that Carl Frampton uh, is like a, an elite level fighter and is not about to sleep up with uh, someone who's relatively unknown, right? So uh, once again, because of this uh, circumstances and uh, the COVID situation, like Frampton is not fighting at his normal weight. I think it's like closer to... 135 is talking about not having to make weight as usual so he's loving life right now you know and uh is gonna fight against like trainer that is like a, a taller fighter uh you know i predict like a, a frampton assault on the body you know right? he's like <laughs> a is like a you know a devastating body puncher and, you know, again, someone who's like, you know, taller, naturally, you think that, you know, he'd want to go to the body. Uh, so, yeah, but I think it's a, definitely a showcase and get back into action type of fight for both uh, Frampton and Michael Conlon, actually. And, and that let, that allows me to transition to Michael Conlon, who's actually fighting um, Sofiane Takoucht, which is like a, a French, uh, a French fighter, right? So a French guy. Um, we seen him like on uh, on a card, like uh, uh, like I want to say a year or two year, uh, a year or two ago, uh, and he got stopped, right? So he wasn't like you know he's not known for getting stopped, uh, but he was fighting Josh Warrington and. Josh Warrington blasted him up in like two rounds and it didn't even look like a competitive fight. Someone who's supposed to be durable. Uh, I mean, Josh Warrington made him look like nothing, right? So again, for me, it's comparison time. I want to see what Michael Conlon is going to do uh, against him. Uh, It's measuring stick. Let's see. You know, let's see if Conlon and Warrington at some point are going to share the ring. You know, we have like a measuring stick there. Bro, so. I think Warren kills him for real. Yeah, I was about to say, Mitty, how excited are you for Michael Conley? I mean, though, know, he was the 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 you know the he was hot. You know, he was the, the guy uh, who stuck the middle finger at the, the at cat's the meow. Dude, you know, and and how do you see him panning out so far? You know, I mean, he hasn't lost, but like, uh, have you really been uh, impressed? I mean, for- Michael Conley, I think. Uh, I have been impressed because of like the skill set, but the the problem is probably the lack of explosive power. But I don't think he was 
always or ever going to be like that guy that will stop people. Like Michael Conlon is the fighter that will just be overwhelming you, technical, making you miss a lot, and uh, try to get engaged in like wars sometimes. But uh, I mean, yes, the criticism exactly. would be the lack of punching power. But you know, okay, Mitty, but can, is it fair to say though that he's faced guys who's skill set or actually let's say lack of skill set plays right into Conlon's game like like every person he's fought has been designed to make his attributes look great like if he was in there with somebody who could punch and he had that fight that he had with um damn it the homeboy from when uh what's his name walked him out uh it, damn it I can't remember who he fought um you know that the dude he he could have gotten hurt like you know these situations that he's puts himself in, like I, it's not that I think that his skill set's not great. I think the skill set's great right now, partly because the guys he's faced have just played into his strengths. Yeah, like I mean, like th th that's what they they're saying, right? So is that fair, say, though? You think? Like, no, I think it's fair. But you know, I listened to his trainer uh, earlier in the week, right? And he's saying that you know he's quite excited with. Michael right now because everything seems to come together with Michael and actually uh, he's saying that he's a bit more patient, he understands what he needs to do to not to get drawn into those kind of wars and then position oh. people where they want them to uh, where he wants them to be. So let's see if that happens with Takush. The other thing that the trainer mentioned is that potentially the view is that Michael Conlon's preferred um, uh, weight division will be at 122. So they wow. still need to do like a few tests on body composition and all that. But, you know, apparently he came out of the uh, the COVID and the lockdown situation in better shape than ever. So oh, wow. <laughs> he's been doing like better, like, you know, better diets, better training regimen. And then when he came back, all the measurement indicated that, you know, he's basically lost more weight than ever he came back with less body fat and uh they're saying that 122 could really really be possible so after this fight they're gonna do a final few tests and see if they can just fight compete uh in the long run at 122. So, it's funny you say that, that Mitty. i don't know well, if you heard coffee on this morning but he had said that like basically the best he ever looked is when he was like working out but it wasn't very much boxing but now he's even though he's in boxing shape, but he doesn't look that way anymore because he's only doing boxing workouts. So it's like if Michael Conley was in a situation where, you know, he wasn't getting as much boxing work because of the pandemic and was able to do other aspects. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, and of course, I, I I'm heard just, it. you did hear. OK, no, I heard it. But I think like uh, coffee's point was slightly different. And especially mm -hmm. like they, we're talking about like different weight division. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, and, of course. For like those guys at Michael Conlon level, uh, you want to be in shape, like because they got to uh, cut weight. <laughs> you've got to cut weight, exactly. and the style of boxing is always like explosive, loads of exchanges, fast. You need to be in shape, so you really like rely on like you know someone coming into the ring looking in physical shape. Whereas with the heavyweights, slightly different. When you see someone that is not cut and ripped and shredded to bits. It doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that, that they don't have the gas. They, exactly. Actually, they probably, you know, some of them have like the gas and can go. And, you know, if you add the boxing skill on top of it, a la it's Andy very, Ruiz. Bro, it's Areola, very dangerous. even a uh, big country. You remember big country, yeah. Dumi, from uh, uh, weight, MMA? Bro, he was weight, like, yo, he looked like huge. the beer belly champion. And he would go the distance yeah, every it's single super, time. It's super, but, but, super but, dangerous but, to judge like a book by its cover at no, heavyweight. But at the lower weight, they will all see them like shredded and ripped, you know. No, so. and, and more, more to my point, I was because I know he was talking about weightlifting. Coffee was, and, and more to the point, I was suggesting like, like if you're a boxer, right, and let's say you're putting in four hours at five hours a day, right, and, and let's say like maybe thirty minutes to an hour is concentrated on like, for lack of a better word, CrossFit style. I don't really like CrossFit, yeah. but it, you know that style. But if you're in a situation where you can't spar as much or you can't get in the targets and you're putting more time into that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, physical that's kind development. Of, so physical so development. I, I yes, thank you. you. Like, Perfectly I, I, said. I will yeah. tell you, like, what, you know, I'm hearing here. And basically, it's all about, like, 
what your body remembers, right? So, and it's adaptation to training. So let's say if you do uh, one type of training constantly all the time, you'll get to a stage where you kind of like have all the gains and you kind of plateau at this point. Now, if you kind of switch it up and do something completely different, your body starts to adjust and understand that you're doing something different and kind of like burn a bit more and you'll get like different type of gains. But it's so all muscle, like, you know, muscle confusion. It's a muscle confusion and like, you know, your 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 body has like some kind of like memory to it. Like, so yes. if you do too much of the same thing, you you'll understand and you'll just be, that's you know, exactly, stagnating at one level, right? So that's exactly whether how it's physically works. or skill wise. So, yeah. Yeah, that's and exactly so, so, so it's good. It's good to mix it up. That's why we never, we tell tra uh, uh, fighters, it's not good for a fighter to constantly be in camp. You need to be in camp. Then when your fight is done, just relax, get your body just to understand that this is rest time, do something else, so that when you start your next camp, you're able just to shock your body again and just get those gains from the proper training. So it's all exactly. about periodization of training, right? So it's... Yo, it's all, yeah. And, 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 oh man, I just remembered. I, did you say anything about the Carl Frampton and this fight leading to the Herring fight? Uh, no, I didn't. But I mean, that like, came the Herring out. fight... I mean, he's got to win I, this I, one. To, but they to were get supposed to him. fight before, right? So they were yes, supposed yes. to fight before. Uh, so again, it's making sure we're staying on track. So it's a showcase fight, not at your normal weight. So yes, you know, they are supposed to blow those two opponents out. So, you know, there would be no surprise in the Frampton and in the con uh, in the Conlon fight. So they, they're being showcased here, but they're being showcased smartly with people that will just like, Give them a little bit of work, right? They won't go down in the first one. Actually, we, we don't know about Sofian Dashuk. <laughs> Takush, maybe he will go down in the first round based on what he did with Josh Warrington. What's up with but your I, man Takush, bro? I mean, like, you know, his last performance against Warrington, but Warrington is a different beast also, right? Yeah, he's War not TKO'd his ass. No, like. Warrington jumped on him. Didn't give him time to think. Didn't give him time to do anything. Yeah. He was like a man possessed, and he shocked the dude. Whereas I think that uh, my man uh, Michael Condon would probably want to just settle down a little bit more into the rounds and then take him out, right? So uh, I, I don't think that Condon will come out all guns blazing like <laughs> like uh, uh, Warrington did against uh, Takush. Mm. But, so, but, well, but that's pretty much that card, you know, on the front okay. guards. Awesome, awesome. So we can uh, move on to the last card that we're going to talk about. And I just put two of the fights on there. The only two fights that I figured anybody would know. Uh, we got uh, Ricardo Espinosa Franco versus Brandon Valdez in a 10-round junior featherweight fight. And this is happening in uh, Kissimmee, Florida, who, damn, is that Dennis? Dennis is from there, isn't he? Somewhere, I think. Somebody uh, the other day. or yeah, somebody. Dennis, Dennis that is from uh, yeah. Tampa. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, oh, wait, no, they were talking to Coffee this morning, and they were talking about kissing me, because I remember Cafe. I messed that up. So, how do you say it? Cafe. Oh, co no. <laughs> and so, uh, so he's in the main event, and uh, Jorge de Jesus Romero is in the um, co-main event in an eight-round junior featherweight, and uh, Ricardo Franco is somebody that y'all will probably remember. He fought um, uh, John Real Casamero. The uh, Filipino badass uh, champion, probably going to fight Inu next, uh, Inui next. Um, and so he did lose that fight to Casamero because obviously Casamero has been on a huge run. And um, you know, I was watching his fights last night, Casamero. I watched probably like a dozen fights last night and uh, mostly flyweights. But uh Yo, he's so good, man. I just, I love watching him fight. I can't wait for him to fight Anui. But uh, he's fighting Brandon Valdez. Brandon Valdez is undefeated. Um, I don't know much about Brandon Valdez. I know he's Colombian. Uh, the only fighter that I recognized him uh, on his resume was Jesus uh, Martinez. And then I know that, I think, there was one other person too, I think. I forgot who though. Uh, but it was just Yo, like a punching bag for yeah, those guys Ricardo at that weight. guy looks like he's in shape for a little bantamweight. Yeah, he he's he he's got he can go the distance. Listen, that fight with uh with Casamayor uh, or Casamero, he was giving him the business. Now Casamayor was never really in trouble. Uh, Ricardo, a lot of the stuff Ricardo landed was illegal. Like he was hitting behind the head. Like 
It was a PBC fight. Um, I don't remember what undercard it was on. When was it? It was back in 2000. It was 19 last year, but it was on 420, 2019. So shout out 420. Um, so and they had a really good fight. They did. It was really exciting. You could watch it uh, on YouTube. It's a really terrible angle that they have it from because it's a fan phone thing. But uh, it's a good fight, though. It's it, it was fun. And I can't wait to see him. He's uh, He's definitely got a lot of heart. Um, so you got really well. Franco or Valdez? Fra- Franco. This? Yeah, I got Franco. I don't really know too much about Valdez, but I know enough about Franco that he's going to win. Oh, okay. You know enough yeah. about this kid's 13 and 0, 7 KOs coming I from know. Colombia, Barranquilla. That's right. Yeah, the only, but the only two people I know on his record were punching bags for the for the for the uh, for Bantam, junior bantamweight let me, division. Let me, but, let, me Parce, uh, let me tell you right now. Who's that? They were trying to make fun of him. Oh, oh yeah. hey, Ned. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, it's yeah. Capetillo on the return. Then they told me you wanted to talk to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to know at least one story with, with Luca and uh, Maurice Lee. Or Maurice, Lee. Lee. We, Maurice Lee, we see y'all posted. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, he, uh, uh, you know, he's a great kid, man. I don't know what happened. That day you guys had him on, it was I like, completely didn't recognize him no more, you know. Uh, I know he's gone through some stuff. I know he got stabbed about nine times recently. After that, uh, he went to recovery. You know, I see him with his daughter again. I hope he's doing great, man, you know. But uh, he's not actually he's not a, a bad fighter. He's actually, you know, I'm sure that's why Mayweather uh, has signed him. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. And, he, you know, just unfortunately, I, I feel I, I don't know, right? But there's drugs, mental problems. I, I don't know. I can't say. And when I was being locked up, you know, and everything, people sometimes, you know, go crazy or, or start experimenting with other stuff. That's the only thing I could guess of. I don't really know his whole story, but I can tell you that here, the kid was very respectful. Uh, great kid. You know, his team, people that came with him were always respectful, very great. And we got, you know, we got good sparring from him, you know? so. But that was yeah, back but, in February, right? So that you haven't seen, you haven't sparred him since? Because that was before correct. the no, pandemic. No, that, that was way before you guys had him in the show, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> before he cut his hair and everything. Yeah. All, right, all right, but he's good what though. Kind, what he's kind of good? fighter is he though? Like, what's his style like? He's a boxer, kind of, kind of, kind of like a counter puncher boxer. You know, he's a left handed, so he, you know, he, he, uh, he, he's not a bad fighter, like I said. You know. Mm. Well, cool, yeah, cool. we just wanted one of those stories. We wanted to see uh, how that sparring, because you know, Lucas is one forty or. Well, actually, he fought 147 No, now. he fought That's 147. Right. Yeah, yeah, because Fox moved up. Yeah, oh, wow, okay. You know, Lucas fought Ugas, right? You know, he's fought Ugas, yeah. but we had yeah. Tite Vasquez. He put hands on Tite Vasquez, and Luke was only 18 years old, you know, and he's sparring with a champion of the world. And then uh, he also sparred with, uh, for this camp, we, we were sparring with Sergey. You know, Sergey is a 154, 17 and 0, with 17 KOs. So, you know, I... I Alexis Rocha, we sparred him What's as Sergei? well. What's Sergey? What's Sergey? We sparred with Chris Ben Heron. Uh, we also sparred uh, Postol. So I mean, we've got a lot of a lot of a lot of sparring, you know. And and uh, and uh, what you saw of Luke on this fight was he's also a, a counter puncher box. It's, it's like I said, he knows how to work the three distances. I mean, this one it couldn't be a pretty fight. You guys got to remember the guy was six four, left handed. So, you know, you had to get in there. there. There's no way you could try to jab a guy with that long of a reach. You're never going to get in. You know, you could come in with a double jab and then go into the body. But as far as trying to stay in your distance with a jab, he's too long. Nah, definitely, man. You guys did what you could do. You got away with the win. And that's what's important, man. We can't wait to see him back. But thank you again for entertaining us, man, with coming back and being able to just give us some context on the Maurice Lee situation. Yeah, man. No, yeah, we're right here at the gym. I had some of my little kids. Uh, they were sparring, but the guys were telling me, hey, they're saying to call back. I'm like, what? So I came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's on TV right there, see? Thank you, TV bro. We right appreciate there. it. Hey, hey, there you go. There's- oh, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we'll yeah. So, 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 Javier, did, you, you're good to, to stay open, or do is it, like, do you do the, you well, know? We only have, like, real close teammates, and that's it, man, you know. But 
yeah, we haven't been open. That's why we come in. At, today we came in at 5.30 because we had some of the kids that were going to come in to spar with our boys. So we're like, okay, we'll open just for that, and then we're going to shut down and go. Yeah, it's still kind of very, uh, you know, it's still kind of, so if we if there's not a lot of people, we're okay. If there's too much people, we can't open. I mean, we still have our, we got to have a, you know, face mask, uh, yeah. hand sanitizer, all that stuff. Disinfect hey. the bags. It's a, lot of, it's a hassle, honestly. It's a big hassle, but we got to do it. Cool. And, and remind you, mind you guys, we were we were in the bubble, and before that, we were here. Live, Luke was actually staying here in the gym, and myself too. We were right. actually sleeping here. We knew oh, we had wow. to stay. We didn't want nothing to go wrong. This, this was a, you know, everyone says good luck, and I've always said, you know, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. So mm. we had to be ready. This is an opportunity, and we had to go seize it, take it, you know. And and that's what we did, you know. Definitely. Hey, put hey, that coach. on a shirt. Coach, is that the gym that we went to when yeah, we did yeah. Border Wars? Yeah, yeah. Like, cause I don't, I don't recognize yeah, it. Yeah, gym. Wow. Yeah, where man. you guys came, yeah, it was fun, man. It was a hell of a day. We were laughing. <laughs> was, I mean, laughing in a good way. We were excited, you know, everybody getting out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, there's nothing wrong laughing at us, man. It's yeah, all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, George, uh, Jorge, I mean, ah, ah, shit, Javier, thank you. You're right, man, my primo is okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for coming back on, man. We appreciate it. I wish Cali wasn't shut down so we could do Border Wars over there. We dying for a new location right now, man. Oh, man, well, you guys are always, whenever you're out here and you want to stop by and do it here, we, we're more than open. You guys are more than welcome to do it here. Oh, but, yeah, man. I know it's far. Yeah, well, thank you again, brother. And, uh, yeah, man, can't wait to see you guys get another opportunity. Yeah, hopefully. I'm, 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 I got to talk to to, to uh, Sam and stuff, and we're going to see. Uh, I'm hoping maybe in September or, or uh, maybe October, but I, I got to see how, you know, how everything goes first. Mm. Put them back on. Perfect, perfect. You know, and, and like, you know, he's this is his first 10-round fight. Obviously, we got to build him up. I don't want to throw him in the wars, you know. I've always said hawks with hawks and pigeons with pigeons. We're, you know, make it even. I don't want a, I don't want a easy fight, but I don't want nothing hard either. You know, let's make it even so it's, you get good fights. And exactly. he gets serious. For sure. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, all right. Thank you, brother. Okay, you guys have a good night. You we'll too. see you, Javier. Thank you. Bye, bye. Yo, man, um, Mitty, I would love to do it there, but I ain't fighting in that ring no more. I, I it's got to be. I couldn't even recognize it. Like, it's got to be. Just, a bit. No, that's it's got to be. Uh, it's got to. It's, it's got to be strategic matchmaking. Uh, that's a little. That's a little ring, man. That's a that's little. That's ten ring. by oh, but, ten. Yeah. There was another ring. There was another ring at the back. I think. Yeah, that, that other day ring we was a little bit it. bigger. Yeah, we weren't able to use that ring that day, but it, 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 there was a bigger ring in there. Definitely. I, I, I don't think so. I think they both I the think same it was size. A bit bigger. I, I think they're both the same size, and we was able to use it because I shadow backs and warmed up in that second ring. Yeah, we warmed up. In oh, the, true, true, in true, one. true. Why did we decide to fight in that one? I know the other one must have been being used because it was closer. It was closer to the chairs. I yeah, think. Like, you know, yeah, people yeah. Wanted Mitty's to see right. Uh -huh. Mitty's right. Uh -huh. And it had better yeah. lighting. Remember, it had more closer to the door, closer to the windows. It was better lighting. That, that's the phone booth right there. That was the that was the freaking get in the phone booth and just fight. Bro, you yo Ness would step back twice and his back could be on the ropes. I was like, yo, we did not plan for this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what though. Uh, it probably is bigger than we remember, man. That's how things yeah, are. Yeah, it's probably. And, and you know, maybe like, you know, the first few ones and everything. with more experience, you'll know how to use that ring. So yeah. don't worry, man. What what you think it was? 14 by 14 or 10 by 10? It, no, like it was bigger than 10. Like, so, you 15. know. 15. I say like, 15. Yeah. Uh, definitely bigger than 10. 10s are small, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is really small. <laughs> James says, I want a 40 foot ring. Mm, you right. That's what AJ had in Saudi Arabia. I want that one. He want that Klitschko uh, Tyson Fury ring. He had a 20. 20 <laughs> he had a, 20 he had a 28 Arabia. by 28 is the rumor. Nah. <laughs> 28 by 20. Yeah. Man. 28 by 20. You're right. I don't know. 20. 2-0. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, what else we got? We done? Yo, so the the last one on that card uh, in Florida is uh, Jorge de Jesus Romero. You probably want to check him out. He's a Cuban fighter. Uh, pretty good amateur from what I've seen. Uh, ranked number one in Cuba. So, hey, there's that. Uh, he's 17-0 and with 12 knockouts, 26 years old. Uh, and he is in Florida right now. Uh, that's where he trains out of in Miami. Um, and he's fighting Daniel Lozano, who's 15 and nine, but you know, from, I guess what I've seen, he's, I mean, I haven't seen him, seen him, but he, he, you know, he's been stopped four times, you know, he, he should, it should be a fight where he wins, but we'll see what the Cubans got. See if he's more of a classical Cuban fighter or, or, or if he brings some heat, but, uh, that, that's a pretty good card. It, it's definitely a card that will entertain you for as long as it lasts. Like my, that's an eight man, round this, fight. This is super bantamweight. Here. Super bantamweight. This is junior featherweight, I believe. I'm almost positive. Mm. Yeah, yo, yeah. Uh, they're they're both junior featherweight fights. Yo, yeah. So what I wanted to add to this card is this fight is on Telemundo. And, Telemundo. And it's on ESPN live on two separate networks. Let's Crazy, go, right? Wait, what? Yeah. Yo. Just a quick question though: Is that a world level fight? This one, those, you know. Hell yes, no. uh, Franco yeah. is. Yeah, Franco. Yeah. Wait, what did you say, Ness? You heard what I said, bro? What are you talking say, about right now? What? <laughs> Man, you you're <laughs> mad. This. Listen, listen, Ricardo uh, Franco's been in there with the best. Uh, wait, Casemiro is a bantamweight, right? <laughs> Super yeah, bad. No, it's Bantam. hilarious to see you guys cat for your guys, man. You sound like Listen, Mitty right he now. He been in there with the band with, with the be- <laughs> one of the best bantamweights <laughs> in the world. Hey, hey, okay, Alex, and he, he handles like himself Mitty. very well. He sounds like Mitty capping for the Wellborn card. Bro, you're tripping. Listen, it's gonna be a fun fight. Mexico in the house, Cuba in the house. You know, they they're gonna put on a show. But that's it. I'm going with both these sides. Yo, while I mean, my man is 23 looking 63. <laughs> Yo, Look yeah, what's this. up with that? <laughs> oh, shit, I'm already screen That's sharing? Hilarious. Fuck, I didn't even know I was already screen sharing. <laughs> yeah, he does look Call funny. you screen share. <laughs> Yo, you've been, been in some pretty, like, heavy fights, you know, so. Ricardo, little, little quarantine. yo, how you 23 looking that old already, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah, that a, a hard, a hard, like, you know. Yeah, bro. Now look, <laughs> he's now from look Tijuana. At, now look at this Colombian. Man. This Colombian look young and fresh. He ain't been All in right. there, though, like that. Oh, my God. Zero and zero. Yo, he fought somebody who never won. My man fought 14 <laughs> times. Yo, he fought two dudes back to back that never won. One never won 12 times. The other one never won 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, oh, you're a hater. That was, his, that was his seventh and eighth fight. Like, calm down. Oye, Brandon. Dale and they fuerte, were in Mexico. Dale fuerte, dale fuerte, porque holy smokies. Mire, let's open up these phone lines. Those are crazy. I'm going A sides, Mitty, on A. <laughs> Hang over there. <laughs> Call him I pick. Yeah, dude, man, I, I don't even know who is A side on those cards, I picked man. to the left, man. I'm picking. Actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. Some, uh, Brandon Valdez might upset the old young man in <laughs> Ricardo. Oh, go ahead. Pick him, then. Pick him. <laughs> hey, I'm mad that that, that, that that main event's not on the pickums. You're right. You mad? You mad? Because you you're the only pickings. one knew about that shit. <laughs> Mario, Mario added this card, <laughs> hoping that Mitty you. had it on there no, so no. he could cheat. They, they were, they were on the list. Someone told me that man is telling Mundo, man, take them off. I said, okay. <laughs> Yo, it's true. Man, you know, you know. But uh, man, credit. Y'all, y'all are haters because y'all de- like. For, no, no, Mitty, no, 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 Mario. I would expect better from you. You get mad because they come at the UK, and it's like I bring this card on, and you just shit on. No, them. but Mario, oh, man, I told them like let's put everything. They told me no. It's t- Telemundo. <laughs> but credit, yeah, credit Telemundo. to him, though. Credit to him simply, like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen a fight card on two separate networks. Like, it's on Telemundo, and ESPN is going to have it not only on ESPN Play, um, but whatever these other things are that I'm screen sharing for you guys. But it's live on Friday, you know, so, you know, I, so, I'm, I'm so, sure so you can well, watch me... it on ESPN 3 and ESPN Watch, because that's what that ESPN... You know, play stands for. That's dope. Yeah, one pick I'm interested about about Ness's pick is Marinez, bro. Well, what's the scoop of Marinez? Why are you going that route? I'm not going Marinez. I told you for the pickums, I'm going R- Romero, but I'm rooting for Marinez because he's Dominican and he's with and, uh, Calcedo. 
He's with Caicedo, Jackson I, Marinas? Yeah, I think so. All right. Actually, oh, I, actually, I, actually, I, I, actually, actually I told you, remember, we interviewed Abraham Supernova, and he told us um, that Marino's good, and then I showed you his comments. He was in a debate with someone else about the Marino Romero fight. He says, Supernova says, that Marino has more boxing ability than Romero, than, than Romero. And he said, don't be surprised if he could stop Romero, even though Marino doesn't have the knockout power on the resume. But, again, he could be capping for his fellow Dominican. You feel me? He could just be capping in the comment section. But Bro, I think you're I having know. shows all by yourself or something because none of, none of those two things are familiar. And I was definitely interviewed Nova, and I definitely don't remember you sharing no screenshots of him getting into no Twitter beefs. Like, I think you just had that show by yourself. It ain't a Twitter beef. He was in the comment section of oh, the post. Oh, of ours. No. Okay. Of a post from a Dominican boxing page, Latino news site I follow. Oh, and, the Dominican boxing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, Ness right now is Ness. high on the Dominican train right now. <laughs> He got and, he, he uh, following an uh, all Dominican boxing page right now. That started his own Dominican. Boxing. He got his own Dominican boxing page right now. <laughs> because he got one fight. First, that's, first that's, of that's all, that's Ness's troll account, y'all. First of all, I wouldn't even do that because I I would just promote him on my my bigger boxing voice channel. Remember? Oh, okay. Well, I heard I heard you get the local support and then you branch out. But hey, you know what you. You got your man. You 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 stay uh, captain for that guy. It's all good. Uh, the cape on. Yeah, yeah well, for those was... who don't know, is Ness's uh, troll account page is Dominican goes. Power. Uh, Dominican uh. Power book sale. <laughs> <laughs> My burner. My burner. That's yeah. burner account. So if you want to so, see um, all the I'm amazing, glad, amazing hey, hey, stars. Hey, I'm glad you said that because that's the wrong account. It's actually not Dominican Power. I thought it was. It's not. There you go. <laughs> There you go. You are wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Is it we, this one? Let me see. We should have had like an Easter giveaway, like any Patreon that finds Ness's burner account on IG or Twitter gets nah, a, a lot of, a lot of guys surprised. follow the, the Dominican Power Book sale uh, page on IG. Is a lot of a lot of Dominican, you know, it's, it's this is Dominican. Is it? Oh no, definitely, it. definitely. Yeah, uh -oh. he's got a lot of live. Li listen, listen. I I swear to God, I didn't know how many P Dominicans there were in the world until this man got on like he has gotten so much love like dude twitter was in love with this dude like yo when ness put the post up with him and gamboa like yo that went crazy like it was he's 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 popular he's popular now yeah well, I mean, for boxing standards. You're talking you know? about a different Dominican. You're talking about Elvis, but that's okay for confusing well him. that's uh, no no that's what i was talking about elvis i'm sorry i should have prefaced that i'm sorry mm. call him preface face um call you breakfast club Eggington and Sam Eggington Club. What's that sandwich? Yo. Call him that Elvis. Crespo. Yeah. I haven't even Clemente. dropped that news. I haven't even dropped that news about who Elvis is fighting because I'm still getting ready to preference that with I four know, people. I know. You them. let that leak. I know, bro. Ass, like, what the time? hell? Yeah, because I got to let it marinate. Left this all. I got to let it marinate. Now that, now that y'all know I know who's his opponent, now I got to let y'all know four people ducked him. Ness, Ness, Ness is going to post a, a Patreon each day with one letter of the guy's name <laughs> until, it <spells> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until it spells out who it is. If you want the next letter, you have to upgrade your Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? If you don't get 200 thumbs up, you ain't getting the letter. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> Yo, I can't even find a pose. What if they, uh, what if they took it down? Like, chill, champ. We can't have Abraham Man. Supernova out there making picks live. <laughs> oh, what's up with that? Yo, where is it? Where is it? It's nowhere. <laughs> it's nowhere, champ. <laughs> Damn, yo, it really is a Dominican card in Connecticut, dude. That's crazy. Romero Alex Angulo, Rolando Romero. First of all, uh, why are you being Romero. disrespectful? We all Caribbean, but we not all Dominican, all right? Romero yeah. Angulo is Cubano. Yes, you said Marinez is with Robert, right? I think he's with Caicedo or Robert Garcia. I think he's with Robert. Yeah, James says he's with yeah, Robert. They say he's with Robert. 
All right, you well, know. there you go, Robert Garcia. Yo, somebody said Roly fight like David Lemieux. David Lemieux, 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 Lemieux. Yeah, um, I could, I could see that. He's, I mean, you know, I, he's a power I, hitter I, I, trying I to knock you out. I ain't seen enough, bro. For real. I think you need to uh, listen. There's two different David Lemieux. There's the David Lemieux that was trained by, oh man, what's the Canadian dude that does magic? Uh, okay, so we know that's not the trainer. No. <laughs> no, he's not the trainer anymore. But what was his nah, name? It's about Russ, right? Yes, Russ, Russ Abner. Abner. Yeah, uh, that was his trainer, and he was, he was good. He was really good. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people forget when David Lemieux fought. Uh, damn, what was that guy's name from? Uh, I think it was from South Africa. No, he wasn't from South Africa. Ness, who did he fight? David Lemieux. That Bill he was Saunders? the. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, bad. He was the black fighter from. I think it was. Curtis Ghana Stevens? now, no, 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 no. He's not American, and everybody was picking him. Fuck, I'm just have to Google. Is he from the island? Nah, 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 nah. nah. He's a uh, damn. Is somebody in the Curtis chat? Maybe him? it's not Curtis Stevens. Uh, it's not. I promise you. I'm gonna say it, and y'all are gonna be Hassan? like, "Oh yeah, Hassan? I remember." Is it Hassan. Yes, Hassan. Thank you. Okay. Damn, I was literally this close to finding it before oh, you said it. Yes, and Hassan. Um, Yes, yes. Listen, when he was in that fight, everybody's like, he's getting trash. Oh, he's getting uh, trash. Bro, he beat him. He beat us on. And, and, and that set up the Golovkin. That put him in the Golovkin uh, territory. I don't know and who so was saying that. He's but good. Okay. But, but, but as his career went on, you know, David just, he his skills just, I don't know, his physical skills deteriorated. I think they caught, uh, that didn't help his boxing skills anymore. And he had a bad approach, but I don't know. So it's like either a disrespectful thing he's saying that? or a good thing he's saying. You're saying that Mark Ramsey is not a good trainer? No, I'm not saying Mark Ramsey's not a good trainer. I'm saying David Lemieux got away from what he did well. Because Which it was, was kind of out of his comfort zone. Listen, not for nothing. I swear to God, and I caught a lot of shit. I probably shouldn't even say this because the last time I said this on the show back in 2014, I got shitted on. David Lemieux's <laughs> not a bad boxer. Like he's actually a pretty decent boxer when he when he when he wants to be. The problem is he doesn't want to be. He doesn't go in there trying to box. So the the, the David Lemieux you've seen over the years has been like you know a dude who goes in there with a different approach. But I've seen him when he was younger, and, and people would say it was in the title videos with uh, Russ Abner. But no, I seen him when he was younger, and, and he has a lot of really good footwork and skill. He puts punches together real well, like. He's, he's a pretty good boxer, so I say all that I mean, to like, say I don't I mean, know if it was disrespect to Roley or not. I mean, like, the, the competition level might have something to do with it also, yeah, right? So when you're younger, point, yeah. you can be a good boxer. But at the elite, we know that he's not a boxer. No, no, he's more not a fighter, puncher, right? So, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah. I needed you back in 2014 <laughs> to... Uh, Help me say it correctly. But, uh, yeah, those are the fights for the weekend. <laughs> the Rich Kid, he said Mario Captain. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I can't Captain. find Yeah, Rich Kid, but, but we didn't know Undom had that chin at the time. Like, people were picking him over David Lemieux. Really? Yeah, I, I swear know. to God. Like, And David yeah, Lemieux was, I mean, being, I mean, was coming I mean, in as the A-side commercially. Yeah. I don't but know. But people were like, this is a even, big upset. Even, even after the win of Gabriel Rosado, they were picking um, Hassan? Yeah, bro, they were picking him heavy. Like, people were being disrespectful. I, I picked David, and I made three bets on Twitter. Bro, I won all their money. Like, We don't know I, who I, Mario's talking about. Hassan the Dumb. No, we don't know about the people that you say picked them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't know who they are. We don't know who they are. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't remember. We don't uh, believe you. You need more people picked and dom. Oh, I know who, who I could. Dom? I know who I could bring who on. Who picks and dom, bro? Who picks and dom? Come on, bro. Oh man, listen to me right now. I will pay for somebody's fifteen dollar Patreon if they can go and find that show and clip who Ness picked because he damn well picked and dom. Say, I will what? pay one month of somebody's Whoa. Patreon. Oh, you. You know some people will do that, you know. Bro, I'm glad. I'll <laughs> gladly pay their Patreon for the month. Say, just what? to bring it back on this. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yo, uh, I can't find that post. I'm, I wonder if I posted it. I'm going crazy. Oh, that's on, that's a good point, Rich Kid. Well, but anyway, y'all ready to open up these phone lines? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> James about this. Oh. 
All right. But uh, first, our sponsors. Quick message after these messages. We'll, we'll be, right be right back. PBS Kid. Subscribe to youtube.com slash the boxing voice for the latest and greatest interviews with your favorite fighters. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. All right. Let's go out and out to Natural Wiz. What up in Canada? Canada. Canada. Natural Wiz. We're going out to Info Joe in Los Angeles. Mr. Info Joe. This portion of the show we call In the Know, presented by my brother. Yo, tell him the truth, Joe. Tell him the truth. What's up, my boxing brothers? What up, Joe? <laughs> hey, so Mario, good. I'm telling you the truth, <laughs> man. What's up, Coach Manny? What's up, Mario, Alex, Ness? Hey, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, man. I'm, I'm going to be the winner at the end of the month. And then I'm gonna parlay that all over to the end of the year, and I'm gonna be the grandmaster caller. Watch. Hi, man. Ness said you do that, you get my spot. I was like, damn, now the heat's on. <laughs> oh man. Hey, first off, man, with the topic this morning, man, about Wilder, man, should he, uh, should they both take step aside? I'm gonna say no. Anything can happen. Take the fight. And uh, do the rematch this year, if possible. Did they already schedule it for next year, or is it going down in December or what? Nah, it's still yeah. tentative for this year with, with, with hella rumors circling around that it's not happening. Okay. Hey, so we all good with the, uh, Teofimo and uh, Lomachenko, right? It's going down, right? It's official tissue? That's the rumor. Looks like it. Man, shout out get, to the they... boxing guys. They gave my boy a little bit of Skrilla, a little extra Skrilla. Now they Who gave put, it to him? Yo, I, I don't know. I heard he get it. Now they want to put a uh, I heard it. Get it dude. I, I heard yeah, it only way. how he got it. Loma now is the superhero who who takes a, a pay cut in order to make the fight happen. Man, get get it. Wow, what a good guy. Get the hell out I, of here. I, I don't think he's a good guy. It was only 300000 Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> hey, hey he, that made him buzz. It worked. <laughs> nah, that's <Sorry>. right. <laughs> but hey, we got, got it, man. We got it, and we're gonna take it all. Yeah, mm -hmm. hey, we gotta we gotta do a show on that. Hey, far as uh tomorrow, I, I made my picks on Patreon. Do I gotta do it? But should I record it or what? Nah, if you made them on I Patreon, that's where it count because that's the data. But you can make them on the show so everybody know that Info Joe ain't no joke. All right, uh, I'm going with, you know what, Ness, man, it's the first time, man, for years you've been back in Dominicans, man, you, you finally coming around. Nah, huh? not that I'm coming, <laughs> nah, not that I'm coming around, they finally starting to come around. Look, <laughs> yeah. look, Jackson is training with, with Robert Garcia, who he getting spawned with? Adamus, Mikey, Carlos Ramirez, Virgil Ortiz, Roley might be in for the fight of his life. Yeah, but that's yeah. what Joe's saying is you would never do that before. You were you would pick the guy regardless of if the he was fighting in a Dominican, but now you like, oh yeah. Oh wait, you did pick Roley. My bad. No, you not I did pick Roley, but yeah, I'm, I'm rooting sorry. for I'm sorry. Jackson, but what you're not getting is Dominicans now are, are living here and training here versus traveling back and forth, getting back over there with a purse bid and, and, and having parties in DR. It's different when you live here, you discipline. Mm. Yeah. All right, man. Put me down for Roley and uh, Israel. Uh, you know, I can't pronounce his name. Madridal. Uh, okay. Cecilia. Mad Israel Mad Dog. That was pretty yeah. good. Damn, that's just a <laughs> right. hater, bro. All right. Uh, Nikita. Uh, David Benavidez. 
Travis Kaufman. I'm going for Travis Kaufman, y'all. Oh, you going for Travis? Me on his show. Oh. Yeah, he sold me on his show, man. Shout out he to Travis. Yo, yo, he looks skinny, too. Have you seen him? He, yeah. he definitely got himself in a shape. That ain't no lie. Yo, Joe's yeah. got that strategy. All right. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Joe. Uh, All right. <laughs> uh, Michael calling uh, Frampton. I think that's it, right? You didn't, you didn't give us the Cecilia pick? Oh, uh, yeah. Give me Cecilia. Okay, okay. Let's go, yeah. Chant. There we go. That's Damn, right. That's bro. all I like got, that, those upsets, bro, Ness and Joe are going to go up on us. Damn, I might have hey, to. Hey, Mitty, post the stats, man, <sighs> so we can see what the numbers look like, though. It's too okay. soon, yeah, Chant. I, I, too I will. Soon. You know, we got to oh, wait okay. until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we got to okay, wait until good, good, good. All right, all right. Good show, gentlemen. Great interviews all this week, man. Shout out to the boxing guys. Uh, great work, gentlemen. Peace. Cheers. Real quick, super chat. Sal M says, I need that TBV flag in my garage. I'll oh, pay for it. That's Iron Sal, champ. Well, yeah, that's says Sal, Sal M, so he better change that shit to Iron Sal. All right, because that's what I know him from. I don't, I don't know who Sal M is. Sal M. Sal M. Sounds, yeah, it, that's, it, that's, always been, that's always been his handle on YouTube, though. Yo. I can't find that Abraham Nova post, but it's all good, though. It's all good. Yo, champ, we believe you. We believe you. Nah, listen, that's how, those are the little gems. Those little comment sections, the, the things y'all too busy to do. And I nah, you know them. what it is, Doomy? He realized that he never shared it. He wanted to, and he forgot. And now nah, he's definitely. trying to do it. He's trying, I definitely. <laughs> trying to smooth it out. Trying it's to all smooth good. it out over there. It's all good. I Yo, it's all right. Yo, we believe you, champ. We believe you. I definitely did it, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All I know it's is it's Super Max is like, yo, damn. I can't believe I bet everybody 25 push-ups that Ariola beats. <laughs> that Ariola Yo, this is going to be uh, yo, yeah, that like, fight. It's gonna be Super Max's best year, bro. He's going to be in the best shape of his yo, life. He about to bench 500. That fight looked year. like it's almost done, too. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, I saw that in the pre-pro. I was like, uh-oh. My man didn't think they were going to fight. He was like, okay, look, Carlitos running away. Carlitos running away from the push-ups. Come on, champ. You know I ain't going to bet the Skrilla. You you scared to bet a few push-ups? on or demand. pie in the face. Pie in the face. You used to do the pies in the face. Remember we can do that? A pie. See, I'm a man of my word. If it's a pie in the face... Pie in the face. See, I'm so sure Teofimo Lopez is gonna win. I'll take a pie in the face bet right now. Mm. Oh, Teofimo Lopez. Right. I'll tell you what, do me, me and you. Pie in the face bet. Pie in the face. I'm, I'm serious. Pie in the face. Oh, and, and, and I get to pick what pie you gonna you gonna smash your face. Oh with. damn, no, that's. I'll send Yo, you a wait, cash app for a nice guys, cherry pie. Guys, okay, guys, that's cool. Guys, See, guys, if it slam your face into a cherry pie afterwards. <laughs> as long as it's not key lime, we good. It's Guys. all because you're allergic to key lime? No, I will puke. I hate it. It smells gross. Oh, key it lime pie disgusting. is pretty. Uh, really? It's disgusting. Oh, I hate it. All right, so cherry pie. In, 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 cherry uh, pie is cool. In honor you're going to get, a, cherry, in the cherry you're gonna get a pumpkin pie. No, wait. That doesn't have no whipped cream on it. All right, look, bet. All right, so you betting me. You got Loma? Yeah, I got Loma. We're doing pie bet. Pie it's bet. Live on air. It's live 13, on air. 2020. We remember. All right, Dude, pie bet. Mario's going to wear it. Dude. All right. Yo, and you know what? I ain't even gonna Maddie, get a pie. You, so I'm just gonna get a Maddie, bowl what's up? You want a pie in the face? Yeah, I take a pie. Oh, oh yeah, I take a pie. Yeah, listen, oh, guys, anyway, hey, confidence in the matrix. Y'all talking You're a lot. gonna have to take like 15 y'all showers. Y'all talking a lot, guys. My bad. Go yeah. ahead, guys. Guys, a lot of talking going on here, and no one's I'm deciding putting. on some sort of rules. Let me tell you, we've had pie bets here. It's, it's, yeah, it's, but, uh, but, but, but we're flaky people. No, I'm not. I'm not even talking to that. I'm just saying it can get dangerous. So you need to figure <laughs> out what pie you're gonna use. You know, <laughs> it can get dangerous. Why, how can it get dangerous? <laughs> oh, oh, you guys think it's a joke? Oh, uh, that's that's enlightening. Oh, how? how? In, in, no, us. tell. I, I, listen, I know what he's listen, talking about. Pie was, bets. Pie bets are normally. You know, just uh, the tin foil with whipped cream to give yeah. you the mm-hmm. visual aesthetics of it for television. People don't know that and use real pies, and you can get cut. We had a we pie had, bag. We had somebody so, like, do that. If you nah, smash, not, 
I'm if gonna you took it down, and they were like, take it out of, "Yeah, no." If you what? smash yourself with like an apple pie and get cut, who up, was that, Ness? I don't know, but somebody got remember. cut. Nah, somebody got cut. Oh, call you, someone on live, give me yeah, this. Yeah, it was a pie bet. Place. Yes, it no, was I a think pie bet between I don't callers. know if he got cut, but he got, I know I know it's dangerous. So he, I would recommend. And then he recommend... called in the next day, and he was like, yo, I had bruises everywhere. My nah, wife was like, what nah. the hell happened to you? What, what like, did he do, run, run into the pie at, at he bought like I was, dude, well, He remember, bought like a gourmet pie. Like like, he had like this like gourmet home-cooked <laughs> pie. Were, that's what it was. <laughs> My yeah, man got hit with an apple slice. into a ball fight after he lied to his wife. Yeah. I was, I, was, <laughs> I was thinking of more like a lemon meringue pie with a lot of whipped cream on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I would recommend the pie tray at the local supermarket for like 99 cents. Mad whipped cream. And a bottle of whipped cream. All right. I mean, look. First of all, keep in mind you got an office, you got a dog. You're going to be licking all that. You know, be, you know whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever. I mean, look, it's pretty simple for me. I don't got to make it crazy. It's a pie in the face. But, you know, uh, if, if if a pie can can result in a final destination scenario, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll we'll lighten up the pie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like a whipped but, cream and bowl. But I, all, all, all to say all of this and bet this pie, guys, just to let you know, man, that I'm standing behind my guy, Teofimo Lopez, to win hey. the pie, become the first Durian Unified champ. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. Tuesday, there, there's nothing wrong with that, and, you know, that's good. And the, the fact that you're Honduran, that's good. I commend that and all that. If, if it wasn't for the fact that you were Honduran, I'd be seriously thinking, what's wrong with you, man? But Because you're hey, on the Loma train. I am. I am. Like, yeah, you're you know, on the proven stock. You're not on the new stock that's going to skyrocket yeah. pretty soon. No, no. I mean, so like, hey, listen, Your stock I, is going to get low, and mine is going to get high. And I'm hey, betting that, that, on the new stock, you're betting on the old stock. And that's you know, how that's it works, you know. That, that, that's how it works. Like, you know, with age, like, stock depreciates. But, like, with that dude, I don't think he's at that point just yet, man. And, and, and Teofimo, good. But I don't know if he's good, good like that. But, you know, and it's difficult to look good against Lomachenko, man. So, we'll Loma's see, man. Loma's a bum. And we gonna have some fun. Hey. We gonna take that scalp and ruin a 504. Ain't never gonna be in the chat again. Watch, but anyway, let me go out <laughs> to I mean in Essex. Let's get to these callers. Run down the line. Just like the king is what I mean. I mean, my the king is what I mean. I mean. Yo, shout out to TVV Famola was good. What up? Shout Sam? out to London Pound Cake. <laughs> Salute. Damn, yeah. you got some London pound cake, champ? Yeah, man. Wow, bro. That's one of the yo, I wanna that's one of the ones I wanna try, man. Shout out to Burner, bro. Exclusive. Exclusivo, exclusivo. Yeah, shout out to my man Burner. All that London pound cake, that shit official, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> You guys, yeah, that um, don't know, no, no, it, no, nah, no, no. this 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 the strains champ. You know, London pound cake is one of those strains. THC voice, yeah, it's good. So yo, that um, that side midi, side midi, you'll get it, you'll get it later, ten years later. <laughs> midi says when um doesn't want to smoke. Call me, keep it clean, man. <laughs> Keep nah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Mitty. Listen, at a certain point in your life, you don't even have to indulge. But as long as you're not a judgmental person, that's all that matters. No, I'm no not, use. Man, no medicals. I, I, I like sit with you and watch you, and you know that's no good. But don't choke, man. <laughs> you catch the contact. Nah, man. man. <laughs> Mitty be like, stop blowing this shit in my face. Give me a window. <laughs> <laughs> he casually walks away from the conversation. Man, you all right, champ? You're doing a bad job of uh, selling us the that dream there. Oh, it's that London pound cake, bro. That shit. It's, it's, it's the London Not, thing, man. Yeah, it's a London thing, bro. Yo, so Mitty, another thing that y'all got better than us. Even even the bud is better now. Damn. Uh, that's a shame, man. That's a shame, man. <laughs> Yo. He changed that up real quick. I, 
Yo, this Benavidez fight, I'm really interested in seeing that because all the talk, you know what I'm saying, in, in that division, I want to, I need something, what have you done for, for me lately? I need to see something more recent to remember, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really going to appreciate that one. Um, shout out to all the Dominicans, shout out to Hazleton, PA, all the Dominicans in Hazleton. Um, yeah, yo, I, I did my picks, man. Like, yo, I was, I was trying to figure out if anybody had any upset. Um, yo, but y'all, y'all, I don't know if anybody considers it an upset. I definitely got Jessica McCaskill. I think that Cecilia Brackus is a little bit like, boom. She is not going to be comfortable with the pressure that McCaskill is going to turn up. So even though McCaskill might not necessarily in the beginning land the cleaner punches, Brackus, I think, is going to find herself a little bit confused. She may get caught with something. McCaskill's going to pull it out. I'm, I'm, that's, that's on me. Uh, y'all, that's the smart money right there. Take that pick. Um, I'm just going to listen to the rest of the show, fellas. That's my call. Love what y'all do. I'm out. All right. Ooh. Thanks, Amin. I'm, I'm never used. No medicals. <laughs> I like clean sport. We got... <laughs> We got North Carolina. Josh, what up? What's up, CBV? What it do? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Cheese. Good with y'all. Hey, man. I want to talk about this morning topic real quick. Um, Hell no, there shouldn't be no tune-ups. Tyson Fury, man, he's trying to pull. He's trying to pull that Vladimir Klitschko 2 fight that he's supposed to do. He's trying to do that, but he ain't got no... I don't know if he's trying to drug test or not. But um, I think he's trying to weasel out that Fury fight, bro. Some way, somehow, he's trying to... Con even though he's contractually obligated to uh, fight wide, I think they're trying to weasel out of it, man. That's why Frank Warren and Bob Aaron has been talking so much. Even though it sounds like they, they're not on the same page either, but I think it's all a ploy. Um, y'all ain't got no, uh, headlines on the woke. Y'all ain't been talking about the woke lately. Y'all know who the woke is, don't you? No. What is that? Oh, y'all no quiet, y'all know. The woke, the weakest heavyweight of all time, Anthony Joshua. Oh. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't been talking about him. Ain't nothing talk, talk about him. Ain't nothing, he ain't got no date yet. Yeah, I see that they ain't got no date. And another person who ain't got no date, the little cinnamon dude. Why he ain't got no date yet, man? This yeah, is crazy. Least, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, didn't he get his date back? Now that Tyson no... is being pushed in November. Yeah, bro, yeah. I'm telling y'all, he was never gonna take that date. Never, I promise. I, what? I... Well, if he does have that date, I mean, what? He's gonna get somebody on three week notice. Probably. The fight. Come on, man. Probably. That's crazy, man. You that man. Canelo, you want a Canelo up? shot or not? Huh? You want a Canelo shot or not? You got to get it on three weeks' notice. Well, if you want the money, you're going to have to. So, you know what it is. That's, I guess that's... Hey, I want to say this, too. Robert Garcia, he can burn in hell. F him. F him to the gods. Any any fighter that's trying to have Robert Garcia, I hope they lose. That includes Virgil Ortiz. So, this next fight, I hope he get his ass whooped. Anybody. Robert Garcia, he's backing up probably talking about he don't understand, understand why he got fired. If Robert Garcia and Mikey, I'm uh, packy, I'm not that fool out too. I'm gonna put you Fake to ass. Shit. But you know what, y'all love the show's great interviews today and this morning. I'm out. All right, let's go to King Bourne. going on y'all what up what up Yo, did, did you get my intro mm. nah, where, you it sent, out, where you sent it to i sent it to at nesta gibbs what the email it, oh I, I need to do an email how'd you do I, it i sent it on a um on a skype oh let me check skypey Got the new intro. Chill, Chizzy. We got to play that. <laughs> got to play that. Let me see. King Born. Uh-huh. Oh, we got an intro right here. 
Let's go, Champy. Let's see if I could download it. Yeah, but this, uh, so what you think about the David Benavidez and Romero Alexis and Gula about, uh, King Born? You okay, got, you got, I got Dave yo, Benavidez. So your intro, you made it yourself? No copyrighted music, right? Getting us flagged and shit like that, right? Yeah, yeah, I made it myself. No problems. No problems. Mm. No problems. Well, let's hear it. Well, let's see. What is called? 2231, 2231, 231. Let's see what, yeah, that's let's, right. see, let's see what Born got, y'all. See where his skills at, y'all. Right, Make, making a debut. Debut. Debut on a producer uh -huh. tip. Debut on a producer tip. We're going to change all that up, though, because I don't know you by 2031 and all that. So we're going to go king. Boy, let's see. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? The debut. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost, uh, Born. What's going on right there? What's all that about? That's old. It sounded, it sounded like ODB, man. That's ODB. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. <laughs> I mean <laughs> hey, yo. Um, that shit needs some help. Mario man. fell off his chair. <laughs> yo, King Born, I think you need to holler at Dollar DiBiase. You need yeah, that. Yeah, he said, need he that. Said, yo, I thought it was a shaman ritual for a second. <laughs> he said you need to holler at Dollar DiBiase. I think so too, Jeb. That was not. That wasn't it. I could short it up. Nah, you gotta, you gotta smooth it out. Like, listen, there's nothing to I think hear. It was there. the sound, right? The sound yeah, quality. It's like, it's like muffled, like. Cause I did it. I did. Check it out. I like it. I just wanted to be clear, yo. Yeah, <laughs> yo, yo, I have no clue what is being said there, but it's I all like good. it. Just make it clear. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> make it clear. That's the illest. That's the illest intro ever, man. Yo, yo that's ODB, bro. Shout out to ODB RIP. When man, it's man. done, people don't know about the Woo King. When it's done, when it's done, it'll be the illest. Biggie, Biggie so I, Smalls is the illest. Nah, oh, I didn't. I ain't want no Biggie Smalls. I needed, I needed that because that's not, something never heard before, and everything. You know what I mean? Nah, I hear you, champ. I hear you. <laughs> I know. Who I know one dude who happy right now. Your who? Man, your man Sony. You know Sony feeling that. He feeling Sony that. right now is like yeah. <laughs> Sony like yo, yo Killer B. Yo, do me a favor then, right? Put it on there and just turn down the volume a little, so you know, and then we'll let. And then I hit up Sony and Info Joe and let them know what they think about it. Put the volume down. That's all. Yeah, uh, that uh. was with 40 and 100%. So we did that. The first time I played it with 40. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> you say right, like Info I, I, Joe is involved in these two? Yo, it's the yeah, OGs, champ. Nah, nah, he just want Info Joe because uh, he like, yo, they they down with, 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 with. You know Wu Tang, they from that era, so they then maybe 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 we too young and it went over our head, is what he said. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> nah, make it clear, make it clear. I do again, and I just put the volume down. Nah, That's all. It gotta be clear. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, hundred thousand. Like it sound like you recorded it off the TV. Like you grabbed your phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, he grabbed his phone, pressed memo record, and then, like, it just played on the TV and he got it off. It, 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 you know, it's, it's real not good. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, work on it. You know who you could get with, too? Keem, King Born in the back channel. He, he he be working on stuff. But dollars, I would go, too, man. You want that yeah. fire? Go to dollar. Dollar, man. dollar give you some Wu Tang status. Go to dollar. He want, you want that fire? That fueguillo? Dollar. 
You know, because I, I would say Keem too, but then the thing is that, like, Keem. Ooh, some RZA. Yeah, Keem, Keem dollar. Is in, Keem is in full time with it. But uh, my Jean Bear, what up? Actually, before we go to my Jean Bear. What it do, TBB family? It's your boy, Dollar. If you want to beat like you heard on the show, hit me up on Instagram at Dollar DiBiase. That's D-O-L-L-A underscore D-I-B-I-A-S-E. Let's get it. My dream bag. Spider for the jam. My dream bag. Yo, what's good? What's good? What up? Bomb hey. up. Yo, not much, man. Um, just wanted to see how is it that I'm gonna uh, get uh, who? Where do? Where is it that I gotta give the five dollars at? Cash app or GTO. PayPal? Cash app or PayPal? At Mari Mungia. Oh nah. my bad. That's where it's gonna go. My bad. That's where it's gonna eventually go. <laughs> uh, just but like on your yeah. cash app Ness, just let people know that I think it's Ness GTO. At, like yeah, my, at Ness GTO. At Ness GTO. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I just got one pick. I, I put all my picks already on Patreon, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for El Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. El, I think El it's Phoenix. Right. Yeah. Oh, El Phoenix. Phoenix. El Phoenix. Yes. Who's that? Uh, 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 that's uh, that's uh, the guy I'm picking, right? Jackson. Yeah, uh, Jackson. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he about goes, to rise from the ashes on Roly Romero. Definitely, I think well, so. You didn't even I pick him. Stop. Uh, Roly Levar unos piñazos. He about to. He said, "You want to be libre, Cuba?" <laughs> yeah, he he got it. Yeah, yeah, ain't get it, Cuba libre. <laughs> it was corny. a good shot. Oh, that was a good. That was a good so one. That was a good one. I didn't get it at first. It was like whoop. it was. It was like yeah, right so over. corny. <laughs> go ahead, uh, my Jimbe. They don't get. It. They don't get good jokes, man. No worries, but you can't hit it out of the park all the time. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, but not nah, he. He looks the part. He really. I, I definitely see why he he doesn't have the power. He, he doesn't really sit on it like that. But um, Broly is flat footed. He's he's one style. I think this guy could take. I think he could take if he doesn't get knocked out. Obviously. Um, but I think he, I think he's the goods. I think he's the goods. Um, but yeah, great show, guys. Keep it up. All right. Well, thank you, champ. Thank you, champ. 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 Bro, I don't, I don't know, man. man. Rolando, no. Rolando, to me, I don't it, understand it's... why all these girls signing up to MMA but not boxing. Like, what's? I don't get it. They getting paid more. But she would get killed. Nah, I mean, you gotta understand that girls get a lot more shine over there at UFC than they do in boxing. Man, I'm Way more shine. Like, but you talking about what's your name, right? That girl just signed a Bellator. I thought Bellator was done dizzy, like no. Oh, oh I thought you were no. talking about Paige Van Zant. She signed a bare knuckle. Bare knuckle. I, yo, for somebody I can't like it. as pretty as she is, bro, she's gonna go to bare knuckle I and know, get her fuck, dog. get her face split. I mean, she's already looked split up in UFC. Yeah. I mean, she's like, tough, bro. She's tough as nails. I like her, you know, and she has everything. You know, the looks, the skills, the talk, everything, personality. She's, But gosh, girl, you're going to freaking bare knuckle? Yo. How many fi- How many fights, who you fighting, and how much money? That's all it's I want to know. It's a four-fight deal. But, yo, real quick, Mario story time. First ever uh, MMA fight I ever covered, right? Pro fight. Pro card. Uh, it was his hometown girl versus Paige Van Zant in her second uh, pro fight ever. Awesome. And it was a split decision. And I said that the hometown fighter got robbed. I felt like it was a robbery. Yo, Paige's boyfriend, uncle, I think it was her uncle. It was a relative, I know, or cousin maybe. Mm-hmm. And her trainer found me on Twitter and harassed me for like three weeks straight. Yo, they were saying, <laughs> yo, his. Her dude told, said he was gonna find me and beat me up. They were both from. They were all from Texas, and I was like, <laughs> "Yo, my editor was like, damn, you really made them mad.' I was like, "Bro, you ain't gonna say nothing. Like, what the hell?" <laughs> but yo, they were crazy. Yo, they was getting at you. That's Ooh, crazy, champ. Be mad, bro. Yo, Donovan is the A side. Uh, Midi. Midi. Uh, Donovan's the A side, Mitty. Eric Donovan versus Zelfa Barrett? Yeah. No, man. 
Zelfa mm, Barrett no. is the A side. Yeah, that's it's a vacant Zelfa. It's a vacant belt, and, and Donovan is signed to Matchroom. Zelfa Barrett is signed to Matchroom too. Mm, in house. In house. You you got your your Yo, bank on Zelfa, right? That's trying yeah, to get people yeah, to switch yeah. their picks. Zelfa Barrett will will will, will work that. Damn, Anybody know the pull that he's fought? Cause I, 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 Chris Conwell. He fought Chris Conwell, right? Who? But Zelfa or Donovan? Yeah, Zelfa, but it's another Conwell. It's uh, this guy's from yeah, England. Let, let me tell you, like their stock is on Zelfa Barrett. They signed him. They they just lured him away from Queensbury promotion like not so long ago, and you know, yeah, he's their guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, there. listen, Donovan never fought nobody, as far as I know, and I don't really think he has punching power either. He's from Ireland. He's got. The oh, he's from Ireland. Irish. Oh, Donovan. Yeah, that makes sense. Donovan. Eric Donovan. Uh, I mean, those Irish guys are pretty tough. They are. They are. Damn. You know what? That's that makes me think a little different about it. Yeah, those guys are pretty tough, but you know, Coach Mitty got the inside. Uh, Cape. Scoopage. No, Scoopage. he's right, bro. They, bear, bear, like they, listen. I go by what UK Twitter says. Like that's how I'm gonna pick these UK fights that I don't know, and they high on him. Oh, nah. Because they even on said Donovan. that Hopi Price was in a you tough know what? fight. Yo, I like the way was. Eric Don. You, which who? Well, I gotta pick anyway, right? It's not like he's yeah, taking. No, bro. I'm p- pick Eric Donovan. He's the answer. Ha- <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I might just go with Eric Donovan. Go with you? Eric Donovan. Don't let him talk you out of it. Just because I don't know these guys that much anyway. So yeah, I seen Do Eric that. fight, bro. He nice. They call, they call him the Brown Flash. Yo, I'm Zelfa. Yeah, that, that, that's Zelfa. Damn. Yeah, it's Zelfa. Zelfa Barrett, the Brown Flash. Eric, Is he Eric, fast? Eric, Eric, yeah, he's flash. He's flashy type of fighter. You know, very flashy type of fighter. <laughs> Sam in the UK he says she she'll beat Paulie and bare knuckle. Let me get to NO in New Orleans. Ladies and gentlemen, I like to introduce to you a young fella. And he comes from the Magnolia. <laughs> I'm on audio sound, you hear me? You straight. Fresh. See right, 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 right. Man, King Bond. That shit was wild, wild crazy, B. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Yo. I, like, first I thought, I'm like, man, what's going on? Like, on some shit, you hear me? And it kept playing. And I'm like, I thought I was back in the motherland. I thought he was taking me back to my roots, you dig? I'm like, all right, all right. I, I kind of see where it's going. But then they do it. That was it after that. It just stopped. You dig? So, yeah, man, we're going to have the... I don't know, but you, 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 you got to get, get get that song everybody can relate to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, wow, hook on You feel me? But, um... But to the, to the boxing dog, um, I got all the A side, bro. Say, bro, look, I, I want what, what's your what's your opinion on on women's boxing, like, bro? Cause you know I, I like the Car- Carissa Shields and the Braggasses, and you know the fighters like that that got real skill, but it, it don't have too many of them. Like you know when I'm watching it, it's like Berrettes you got a handful of week. that really know how to fight, and then it's like you heard what up? Berrettes fight this week. I I got her. I'm picking her. Like, uh, minute you put wildin'. that down. I'm picking... You wilding. What? I'm wilding. She fighting Jessica McCaskill. She got a casket mm. for your so you, bag. So you, you putting the house on her. That was, that was you saying. You know Ness already lost the house once, man. La casita. <clears throat> man. All right, man. All right, bro. Man, Ness, Ness picking all the... Um... <laughs> Ness, I don't know. Your, your, your pick be questionable lately, bro. Nah. I think you eating a... Uh, we got it written down. Yo, we got it written down. Listen, the, the the last week the best picker had nine, and I was a six, so I'm above yo, average. Line. Yo, we all of yeah. our all of all the people we interview now are like, yo, Ness, don't pick me no more. Like, just just go ahead, pick somebody else. Like, it's all good, bro. Ness, bro. Ever, ever since your dude be Jewel and Williams, bro, eating them damn bananas, bro, you been on this little kick. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, about, like boxing or some shit, bro. I mean, 
he got he got to win, bro. We about to see if he the good the next fight. Now, is you putting your house on your man for that next fight? That's what I want to know. You going with Rosario or what? You keeping it home time to flag out? I mean, I might as well. Charlo don't like me. Might as well ride with the new champ. Man, all right, bro. Look like you. So, so you taking a pie bet on now? Nah. <laughs> I, figured, I figured that shit, bro. But look, man, back back to women's boxing, bro. The, the reason why I brought it back up because I'm hearing about these women knocking out heavyweights and, and all this, bro. Y'all believe that shit, bro? Y'all just let them say it on the show. And I'm looking, bro. What? Who knocked out heavyweight? What he said? Who knocked out a heavyweight? Say what? Y'all all frozen? Okay. I don't know. I don't know who he's talking about. Natural. And uh, who are you uh, talking about? Maybe like someone said like, she'll knock out like Polly, but that, that's the the only thing. But oh, Polly's not a heavyweight, yeah. though. Uh, maybe. But I mean, like to answer his question, like about women boxing and what my thoughts are. I mean, he mentioned it, right? The problem is depth. You know, I would like it to be known as boxing in general without necessarily drawing out the attention that it's a female contest. Uh, but the reality what you mean is that, what you, you, mean know, that? you know, the depth of talent, right? Yeah, so okay, okay. You, Instead of six and, pipe you know, the, fighters the, per division, 20. Yeah, and the people, like, you know, it's not like, you know, we are rushing our daughters into the gym and just asking them to sign up to become boxers, right? So the intake of new fighters also is a problem. So it's going to take, like, a long time before we have like that big pool of like talented fighters. So most of the time you get mismatches because there's not enough of those fighters to go around. And then every so often we get good fights like we had last weekend and like we have like this weekend as well, right? So, but when they are good competition fights- Competition is they, light, competition yeah. is light. I mean, and it will take time, but when they are good fights, then they are good fight. Like what last week, I, done, you know, I think it was like the, the best fights you know, on uh, one of the best fights of, of the weekend. I, I don't know. It will take a long time. Like I said, I have a daughter, right? I'm not rushing her into boxing, you know. I, I like to teach her, like, boxing. And she's not rushing into it either. She's not telling me, Daddy, hey, I want to go to the gym and go to the ring. Like, she tells me I want to go to the gym, but she doesn't tell me I want to box. Right? She wanna, yeah, no. tells me I want to do gymnastic, I want to do this, exactly. I want to do that. Right? Yes, exactly. And, and that's, the, that, that's, the, that's the issue. Like, if that you don't get them to the gym young and get them like hooked into that sport then how do you just like you know get that you know depth of uh well, of how, how do you think you that though it's got to start before that though do me because listen it, here's the thing you want to know how to create it you create it by putting money and promotion into the fighters that we have now yes you're right the women's division uh the women women's boxing isn't doesn't have that depth but yo look katie taylor pursuing you got uh mccaskill amanda serrano uh uh, hey, Terry listen. Harper, Natasha Jones, like Clarissa Hammer. Shields, Hammer. Hammer. Just, bro, listen, so there is you, you gotta promote these girls so that your daughter and my niece and other girls around the world, <laughs> they don't say Serena Williams only, they don't say, uh, damn, I forgot the girl that played uh, yeah, women's uh, basketball, but they don't look at them uh, Mario, and say, that's Mario. the only ones, they look at fighters too. Mario, hey, hey, hey listen, that, that, it's a hard way to make a living for anyone, male yep. or female, so, so it's gonna be hard to do that, but to your point, definitely, like, you have to shine the spotlights on the ones that are doing well so that they inspire like the next generation and the, the fight that you had last week is the prime example terry harper exactly. was in the ring with natasha jonas like only that a few a years fight. ago yeah but only a few years ago terry harper was queuing to take a picture with natasha jonas when she was just like you know uh an olympian right so she was an idol like she looked that up she looked up to her and then she got into the sport looking up to those people and idolizing them only to find herself in a ring against them against her a few years later so building the idols it would is what's going to bring people into the gym and keep them into the gym. So Terry Harper is the example of what you described Mario so that nobody pretty... wants another mom incident right no yeah. definitely definitely Man, yo sure. I forgot I was trying to say who said that like yo mom oh, fungo had me dying me too said mom hurt women's boxing <laughs> <laughs> I love mom. Mom, oh, mom got more popularity than half the women boxing in boxing. But let me go to intrigue. Uh, mom got that that highlight real treatment, man. For maybe real. infamy, but I don't know what popularity. 
Mm. She's gonna end up on the Daniel show, uh, mom. She's already what's the, on comedian. Skate- what's the comedian? Daniel. What's that skateboarder Daniel show? Tosh point oh. Yeah. The, oh, Tosh point oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what's that? Yeah, I, whatever. <laughs> Hell no. Talk about Tosh. Because I get the better fights. He mad because they still like me more. He mad because I got better numbers. He mad because he can't beat Keith Thurman. That's why he mad. Hell no. So once when I get on that stage and I come at you, better not duck me, son. You better not. What's up, man? Man, I, I I just came on like three minutes ago, but uh, I, don't, I I didn't get no alert for the show. I didn't know you had a show. Uh, a show. Uh, what what was the show about? All this weekend's fights, champ. We got a bunch uh, of fights this weekend. Oh, uh, okay, David Benavides. Go ahead. Oh, fighting this week. Everybody, yeah, Roley, he's fighting on Saturday. Roley fight in Benavides and Barakas and McCaskill fight on yeah, Saturday as well. And Israel Majumov, the Masvidal, three biggest fights. All those crazy oh, Roley, Roley's on the card too. What's the What's the odds on the Roley fight? Is he the favorite? He probably the yeah, favorite, he's a favorite, but he about to get slappy slap. You know, you know, Ness is big on the Dominican uh, route right now. Dominican. I'm a bet against, I'm a bet against his ass. I, I ain't know. I didn't know we had no fights this weekend. Mm-hmm. I, why are you betting okay. against Roly? Let him know, yo. Let him know. Let I him just, know, I, yo. Let him know. I don't see nothing in him, man. So I, I, I take that bet. What if the eyes is looking good? You know what I mean? I, I take it. Oh, that's I, a good I, point. I, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know. So I do a parlay bet. I ain't just doing no straight up bet on him. But I do parlay. That's how I bet parlays. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what's up, man. Keep doing your thing. I, yeah, I just tuned in, man. I just, I just got home. All right. Bless up, brother. Alright. Yeah. We going to Sony the Commish. Yo, what's good, TBV? What up? What up? Oh, uh, nothing much, nothing much, nothing much. Yo. Hey, um, so I was listening to a part to some of the show. Y'all was putting together these tournaments for these fights. But I was at work at the time, so I was only getting bits and pieces. But I listened in to my my Jean Bay. You know, so I think I got an idea. So, Ness, if I want to get in on these fights, I'm supposed to cash up you $5. If you want to be a pro level, you could get in because you already a patron. So, you already in. All you got to do is make your picks. But if you want to be on a pro level and get a cash equivalent prize, yeah, send that $5 cash app. But if you want to just be in a prediction league and get the bragging rights to say you the grand master call of to TBB. be another Mario Pick'em victim. All you got to do is just make your picks. The polls are on Patreon. They close at midnight. Now, nah, I want to get in with a cash app. So with a cash app, that's mm-hmm. where I'm at. So if I got to put $5 on it, I'm in there like swimwear. Well, you got What's 5 up? on it then. Hey. Yo, you already know I got you, Ness. Hey, yo, but yo, quick funny story. I don't know how much time I got, so if you got to cut me off, cut me off. So I'm I'm over here lifting weights, right? I got to get ready for Pittsburgh Bach Border Wars and fighting Ness the Dominican Nightmare, right? So I'm down here lifting weights inside my gym, and I hear King Boris intro. Yo, those weights <laughs> almost <laughs> fell on my neck, bro. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so so let the let the record know that we ain't even signed the fight and he already training for me. That's what I like. I like yeah. the smell. I like the smell fear. Yo. I like the smell fear. Yo, I ain't even gonna hold up the show. Shout out TVV, bro. Let me get back to this. Mm-hmm. He training. He training. You see that doing me over here slacking. Yo, had my boy Sony doing the the dumbbell work. Do me, you slack. Then, you then got hold on, then it came on. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you got my competition yo, but, coming for me. They already training, yo. Where you been at? Oh, you what you Where you been bro, at? Bro, I saw I have to keep telling you, man. You better Where start. You been at? Where you been better at? Bro? You better stop eating them, them them raisin brands. You better, you better, you better put that little MM jar away. Hmm. Raisin brand got sugar? I don't know what it got. It got raisins in it, which I is good. It was like kind of a healthy choice. It's a healthy choice, but when you got that milk in there and you get oh, the, the, good call. You know, Uh-oh. the man boots. Uh oh, Lenny Castillo, he picking El Fine. El Fine. Ya lo sabe. Fulfilling El Phoenix. Oh. You know who's Lenny, right? 
No. Len Lenny gave the, the toughest fight of B Bivol's career. You remember him now? Yeah. No? Still? I say, I say, yeah. Still acting like you don't know? Yes. You hear me? You still acting like you don't know? I hear you, bro. Hello? I hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. He said, he said no, Lenny you were cutting out on my... Was he cutting out on yours? No. No, I wasn't. Nah, he just said you ain't say his name right. You call him Le Lenny. His name is Lenin. <laughs> Lenin, yes. That's what it is. Well, I thought he was being, like, jokey with it, though, but... Or oh, Lenin. Lenin. Know. You know, he's from Santo Domingo, so Ness is going to mention him. That's right. You know what I'm Yo. saying? Got the Dominican stable growing. We growing, yes. bruv. We growing. Look, look. You want you want you want a little screen share? Some of the cats. These some of the older cats. You know, you got Javier Fortuna. You know what I mean? Then you got. Bro, I'd rather hear about the UK fighters. Maybe what's up? You got Claudio Maneno. <laughs> you know, you got Claudio Maneno. Right? You got Lenny Castillo gave Bivol all he can handle. Bivol couldn't even knock him out. Then you got Felix Diaz limping. You know what I'm saying? Crawford put him on ice. And then you got uh, tough veteran El Mango Valera. Know what I mean? Nah, you. It's but we got that new crop. We got that new crop coming. You, know, you understand me? The new crop, El Fini. Here you go. Look, you think Romero ready for that? You think Romero ready for that ab? Look at that. Look at that six pack. Bruh. Bruh. So you bet, yo, you bet the house on Jackson Marinas. This is going to be a bad move for you again, why man. My man. Why my man got the, the, the Aztecian shoulder tat? Like, I'm about to body you like if I was The Rock Dwayne Johnson. Look, one thing that I can honestly say about Marinas, because just because I know Rolando Romero's style and the way he gets when he gets punched, mm. he, could probably, he could probably outbox him. I haven't seen Phoenix too much. I'm going to take a look at him. Even though I already picked uh, Rolando, but if he can box, box, he can probably do something with Rolando. But uh, if he starts exchanging or he doesn't know how to get away from Rolando, bro, Rolando's going to put a hurting on him. And, um, you know, it's not going to look good for your boy, Chan. Yeah, that's what like, you're saying. I wonder if it hurts Ness to be on that fence that long. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Pipe, pipe, a look, pie at my man, look at my man getting the green screen ready. Is Romero doing green screen? Bro. You pick Romero. Why are you trying to pretend like you like you're all the way in on this man? Like, I give you credit if you're rocking with them. That's cool, <laughs> but this is what you're doing. You setting it up so that if you're right, you'll be like, I told you. And then if you're wrong, you're gonna be like, bro, I picked Romero. What you talking bro, about? Yo, he's a stunner. He, he's he like, he's yeah. Yeah. And he got Mario, the air on cold. Yo, he got Mario, call it Mario figured it out, right? Because the yeah. first like hour of the show, all I heard was Rolly, Rolly, Rolly. And now I'm hearing like Jackson, Marinas, <laughs> Finney. Listen, you know? listen, y'all can say whatever y'all want. See me Saturday. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's cool. But who you picking though? Who you, you picking? My that's picks are that. done. My picks Ooh. are done, and my picks are done, and guess what? Pick Remind us. My Bye. picks are done, and guess what? None of y'all know. Only, only Mitty will know when he gets the results after midnight. <laughs> Boom. Oh, no, this, 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 oh, one, so he, this one is he, not on the board. Like that, that fight is not on the board. All right. Oh, this oh fight. I know. I was mad that that one got that wasn't on there either. Yeah, I know. He knows, he knows that that fight is not on the board. I was, <laughs> I was wondering why he, that one is the on. one who's posting the polls. So, so I, since I, hey yo, since this fight ain't no Mitty, I, you know I forgot until you said it uh, today. Since this we fight, we gotta do all main event. Since this fight event. ain't on the poll, that's what I'm saying. Yo, listen to me. Since this fight ain't on the poll, I'm officially taking my Romel pick back because it doesn't hey, affect hey. my record. It don't affect my record. Yeah. So yeah, we go. Cool. We're, 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 what do they say? We're going no. all the way, Jackson. Now, <laughs> now, now you can go with your heart. Yo, y'all yes. see Ness, bro? Now, that now line working. All he, he's way. strategist. He knows what he's doing with these pick all He the always way, like, Jackson. I don't like pick em leagues. I don't do that. I don't do that. Mm. And now he's look. He's got mm. that strategy all planned out. All the way. Yo, yo. I'm just saying. Did Charlo know it was gonna be going down like this though? Did he know? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Did he know it was going to be down like this? Did he know that the Rosario said, fuck that, yellow hair. We getting crazy with it. We getting crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? What? Ro Rosario got the yellow hair now? You don't see it? Oh, uh, like he, on, he, on, he on his Abram Count Supernova Count 15 sets? seconds. Count 15 seconds. Here go my other Dominican. They hot, They hating on him. Lou DiBella don't want to let him out. Lou DiBella, let this man, cut this man loose. Cut this heavyweight loose. 
Let the world see this the next the next Frazier no, like heavyweight. What? Frazier, no, Frazier. Why why is this sweat uh, sweat too, too short for him? <laughs> Damn, he said he had on skinny nah, sweat. That's because that, that he's working. That's because he's working. He came back from a, a, a hard run, so all that sweat is making the pants rise. That's all. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Ain't wrong with that. Bro, sweat suits on Why you got a cut out head on somebody else's body? What you mean? That other you picture seen that you showed wrong. him. You seen uh, that wrong. Jorge Arias. You see, you seen that wrong, bro. Why are you looking at things wrong? I'm sorry. I just it popped up and popped off. Yeah, you was looking at things. Bro, wrong. my man stretched look, to look okay. like look, the You want to see yeah. Arias? You want to see Arias looking like Frazier? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that movement. Y'all don't know nothing about that movement. Oh. Oh. Heavy. <laughs> chill. Chill, Chizzy. I ain't, I can't get y'all no more secrets because then when he, he get in a fight, y'all all going to pick him. Nah, we like underdog wins. That's what we want. That's I want to see want. him in there with somebody like the Colombian Rivas to see who's the battle of the, the little heavyweights. I want to hey, see why they cut and pasted this you better, picture You better make else. your picks today if you're going to send it tomorrow because, you know, midnight... Is locked and loaded, and you're gonna be behind. That's all I'm saying. We're going out to stainless. Call them stainless. Congratulations. Explain. Red belt, black belt, the B O N green. I'm king. Undisputed go T B E, and you can catch the news first on T B V. Voice of the people, people now let me speak. Scientists of the sweet B O X I N G. Was. What's good, y'all can hear me? We hear you, champion. We hear you. Yo, first off, man, thanks for all the prayers, man, and the shout outs, man. It's my daughter gone to college, you know what I'm saying? And this is a it's a great uh it's a great ins inspiring thing and a, a great milestone in my life and hers. But with corona, they could find, you know, to uh campus for the next two months. She can't even she can barely even leave her dorm. So it's a tough time for me, man. I do appreciate all the support from all all the uh, TBV fam. First off, uh, and then the King Born, he already he already hollered at me, man. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up for him because you got to give respect to Wu Tang where it's due. Uh, R.I.P. O.D.B. and shout out Y.D.B. Um, and big news for me. Uh, I already told you next week, next Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and jump up to to that pound for pound, man. You know what I'm saying? I believe in support my my show when it's my show. So, you know what I'm saying? That that's a point I'm thick with me. Uh great, great interviews, man. It was good to hear from Laura. And uh especially uh, I, I like that cheese. He was talking about uh Canelo. He, he still ain't feeling none of his punches, so he he definitely not the toughest puncher. That was, that was hilarious right there. Um I really don't have much to say, man. I just wanted to uh take a quick second, man. I, I finally got to get on the show, man. It's been like two, three weeks, man. So, so shout out to y'all for constantly putting out that content uh, to the to the uh, boxing bars commission. You know, what I'm saying, and Ness, I, I, you know, you know, I know you in there, but for putting together them boxing bars, man, I get to listen back, man. Last week was phenomenal, man. Shout out to everybody that spit on there, and that's all I got, man. Now, as I always, say, please make sure you push that thumbs up, share this and every episode. Box of Voice Podcast. This is TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, that's because you stupid. And shout out to El Camino. Peace. All right. So we got a couple new members to the to the league, to the majors. Majors. Yeah, Ivan right. Diaz joined the majors. Majimbe joined the majors. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And, you know, I seen Dodge Hyatt, though. Shout out to you. Thank you for the super chat a few days ago. You were just sending love. And I seen that he said he's going to be joining Patreon soon. So we appreciate that. We got a super chat from Louisville Slugger that says, Rosario definitely about to take an L against Charlo. Looking like a golden lord. Hashtag stay tuned. Hashtag and the new. Golden lord. Remember that? Ain't that that Tom, Tom, Tom Town Sultan? What's that dude's name? Townsleton? Townsleton? Remember? Fake. It was like Meteor Man. Ain't that what he's talking it, about? It, Town, Townsend, Townsend. Townsend. Tom. What's he? Yeah, Tommy no. Townsend? Something like that. I remember the the show. I used to watch the show. Meteor Man, champ. Yeah. 
Steven Chica. Remi one sec, like remind like Ivan Diaz to go and vote on uh, on Patreon, right? I know that my gym bay has done his votes on yes. uh, on the poll, right? But Ivan, please go and do that so you don't miss out and you haven't paid for nothing. Yeah, man. Unless you're that good that you don't need this week. If you're that good that you can use the next three weeks to beat everybody doing that. Nah, man. man. Let, let him do it this week, man. Hey, man, listen. Polls are open 24 hours, right, guys? Just so no. I say the right stuff. No. No? No. no. Midnights today. Thursday is pick day. day. That's, right. that's the thing. Yeah. We've always done picks live on the show, so we're keeping that. You know, so this is your only day. We just ended at midnight Thursday. I was going to do like midnight Joe's time, West Coast, to be fair to them. But I'm like, nah, who's staying up at that time? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? But Steve in Chicago, what up? Hey, Daddy, this is a dollar beat. I drink soda, I eat pizza. I hang out with chicks all day. You fight still can't beat me. Every day, every day, every day. Give me six weeks. Yo, 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 yo. We got a packed weekend this weekend, don't we? Hell yeah. So, we do, champ. Yeah, I'm loving this uh, Showtime card. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Benavides, of course. Uh, I'm going to go with Romero, but you know, it's going to be interesting. You know, Roley, he's never been on TV, man. Even on that, when he was on that Wilder card, man, he was on, like, YouTube. He wasn't even on FS1. Remember, us? We were making fun of him. Yeah. So we're going to see how he handles the lights. Man. Well, I'm going to pick him. Co-main event, I, I, too. Yeah, yeah. That, this is going to be, we're going to see how he handles the pressure. Uh, and then I'll pick Rivera. Hey, man, I'm going with Kaufman. Waleen, don't believe the hype. Uh-oh. Yeah. We're giving this guy credit for a loss, man. I, I, I'm mm. going with Kaufman. Uh, and I'm going with Negron. And then, of course, you know, I'm going with Jessica. And probably the rest of the A-sides on that card. You know, Eric Walker was in the contender, wasn't he? Yep. You know what, man? I'm I'm gonna hit, pick him for the upset. That's gonna be another upset. Dude. I'm gonna pick Walker. Nah, the... nah, nah! Don't do yeah. it. Don't do yeah. it. Steve. No, don't do it. He's too All old. Right. He's too old, and he started boxing late, man. It's, 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 it just doesn't make sense. If he could, if he pulls it off, it'll be the greatest upset of this year. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah. Probably rest the eight sides. You know, four to Bobby. They're gonna win. Uh. The UK card, I'm not. I have no idea. I'm not even going to talk about that. That doesn't interest me. And I like that you. I'm going to watch this Telemundo card. Man, I like that Mario brought this up. This is a good idea. Make us aware of these Telemundo cards because sometimes I miss these. Uh, but I'll be watching. But yeah, that's that's all I got. Hey, you're not picking the UK card. No, I don't know anybody on that UK card. I never watched Wellborn versus uh, Heard. I, I, I have no me. idea. I mean, like, you're just missing an opportunity to, to rack up some points. That's what I'm saying. So you're just going to be behind. Uh, I didn't pick them on Patreon either because I don't know anybody. I don't want, I'm, and I'm probably not going to watch it. You know, I, it doesn't interest yeah. me at all. That's cool. No problem. If I find time. We'll do a live fight chat with the Wellborn because it's just uh, off that. that um... Hey, if you do, I'll tell you what. If you do a live chat, I'll probably watch it because I'll be honest with you, man. If you ever watch the UK cars in the afternoon, I, I end up taking a nap. Them, them guys put me to sleep. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. But if you do a live fight chat, then you'll keep me awake. But when I watch it on, on the zone, man, I'll be sleeping. Mm. For real. I'm not lying. No, we're not going to sleep. Yeah, all right, man. All right, that's all I got. All right, Steve. Good times never seem so good. So, so good. good. So, so good. good. Brandon, what up? Brandon? 
What's going on, fellas? Can you hear me? Yep. All right, let me get to these. Get Brandon, to these Brandon. Yeah. I ain't get no cash Yo. app from you, so you so good that you ain't in it? Uh, I ain't even know nothing about it, man. What? Um, you got to explain it to me. Well, you already, you listen, you already a Patreon. You don't really got to join a cash app one. You could just do the, the, the amateurs and still be the best picker because you always talk like, damn, Skype reset it like eight times a day. Now we got to wait for this conversation so he comes back. <laughs> it reset it just now? Yeah, just now. It's just like the eighth time. It's like a freaking retarded. Oh, oh, fool. I know. All right, so what I was saying, Brandon, is uh, you always talk like you are the smartest and best caller. Yeah, so you had be... dropped off. Yeah, I know. Uh, you dropped I know, off. I know. I know. So what I was saying is that you always talk like you are a great caller and caller of 2019. Or... So this would be their time to show how good of a caller you are by picking some fights. So you don't have to pick because you're already a patron. You just got to go make your picks. They all there. All the polls are there. I didn't see the polls. I guess I got to refresh my Patreon. I put that in the chat that I didn't see the polls. The last uh, thing I see on my Patreon is the ask polite coffee questions thing. Yeah, you got to go down, bro. It's old. We already put them out like Wednesday or something. Yeah, they're like a bunch back to back, Brandon. Oh, okay. I might have picked them already. How much you got to cash up? You know, it's like 10 bucks. Five. 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 five, five. I, I got five I on think. it. I'll send it to you after the show, but before I get to these picks, let me give a shout out to the CEO Loma Chico, man, taking the pay cut to make this fight happen. He could easily yeah. bitch and complain about, you know, this young punk complaining about that wanting, to, wanting the pay raise, you know, he could easily be like, hey, man, he want more money. Let me get more money. I made $3.2 million before. I made that for Kroger, so this is a big fight for me. Let me get a pay raise. But he ain't say that. He said, I'm going to take a pay cut to knock this young punk out. Shout out to the seal on my team. If, so if, let me on, get to if these only picks. we could get Crawford to follow in Vasil's footsteps. Hey, man. Hope so. I hope so. <laughs> but let me, uh, I take Dana Benavidez. I'm taking Jackson Marinez, man. Roley is garbage, man. Ooh. He got power. Bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. Roby is. I watched Roby fight, man. He's slow as hell, man. Slow feet, slow hands. Anybody with some boxing skills gonna be able to do the matrix on all his punches, bro. Mm. Dude, fight like Joe Joyce and David Yo, all of slow. You reek, you reek of Loma right now. Yo, matrix. even though, even Loma. though, even though Brandon said Formella beat Thulani. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. <laughs> he did, man. He outboxed me. Yeah, I'll box me. But, uh, I take Otto Valen and Carlos Negron. I'm going to take Cecilia Baracus. Ness, you picking Jessica because she came on the show, man. I noticed that about you. When people come give you an interview, they get your support after that. I'm taking <laughs> Cecilia. Uh, Israel, a dream off is going to sleep, Eric Walker. Uh, make sure you make your go. picks, man. Make sure you make your picks, because I'm going to make sure I beat you every week. Just make sure you make your picks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know this Shakram Gia said. I'm going to take him. He's an Olympian. So I'm taking Raymond Ford and White Chocolate. And I'm like Steve. I don't know anybody on that UK card. Don't give a damn about it. I'd rather watch White Rhino or somebody from the UK rather than me. that. No. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't care about this Telemundo card either, man. So, yeah, Mario, you don't get much more credit than uh, Coach Mitty. But, uh, that's my call, man. <laughs> yo, it got to be tough. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, yo, Mitty, Mitty's going to last. But it got to be tough to, like, consistently receive UK hate. No man, it's not even hate, man. I, I don't really, I don't really mind, man. It just like bounces off me, man. You know, so it's all good. It's, yeah. If you don't want to watch it, you don't want to watch it. What's my problem, man? That's, that's yeah. why I told I'll you. you I'll that's why. This. Listen, I seen Azteca, Telemundo, Univision fights since I was like probably twenty two years old, and I promise you, if y'all weren't watching them, I had the best boxing Saturdays compared to y'all, because those are some of the best fights that they have. That's where all the that's where all the best little guys were having fights of the years on there. 
Yo, uh, let the truth be heard. Won't you go ahead and, and, and make that pick official, bro? Put that in the poll. Let's see if you're right. If you think Roly about the dog, this dude. You know what I'm saying? Let's see it. A lot of people just talk, man. A that? lot of people just talk. Like, Yo, like Brandon. I, I think some people don't understand what Cash App is, though. Like, they, they think that you need to send them a link or something. It's an app that you download on your phone and you find a user and then you send them the money, right? Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I think people need to uh, to understand that. Like, you yeah, need to go a, and download that app. Yeah, it took me some app. time too. It took me some time because, uh, like, I felt like, yo, what is Cash App? Why why we can't just use PayPal back? Like, you know, like a year yeah. ago or something like that. So I guess the path- just work. Don't forget the money sign. It's money sign and SGTO. Yeah, all all Cash Apps have money signs at the at the beginning. So um, yeah. you got to put the dollar sign. No, well, I sound like Mario was about to start spitting uh, uh, Steve's intro. <laughs> I eat pizza, chill with girls all day. Nah, nah, the beginning of it, like. My town up in town. Hey, Daddy. Uh, no, you ain't get it. My I, town up in Cape Town. Like, but that. that is it, except for my Jimmy on the boomerang. Yeah, I wish we had the results right now. I want to know who won right now. I wish it was Sunday right now. Yo, but we doing a... Yo, but check your cash up. Apparently, like, a few have come through, right? So, like, no, whereas we on, we on the show, Carlito should have come through. Uh, Looking like Carlitos in the UK for the picks. Go. Let's go, champ. Uh, Ness, it's, it's uh, money sign Ness GTO on uh, at the on the Cash App, correct? My, yeah, I already got yours. I, I already, you know. Yeah, and no, I'm just trying to make sure that people hear it because I didn't I didn't hear it last time. So it's uh, money sign Ness G Ness N E S G T O. Yep, yep, on the yep. Cash App. We just um, got Brandon. Uh oh, Brandon gonna put his money where his mouth is. Yo, um, quick thing. I just want to say, I, I know that uh, Mario was bringing up the little guys, but I just want to make it a point to let y'all know that uh, any, anyway is ducking Rigo. Anyway is, is ducking Rigo. So is everybody else at 118. Nobody wants that smoke. Uh, um, I am willing to bet anybody 50, remember, I'm a big guy, 50 dips, 50 Fs. Damn, Skype hit him again. Yo, Skype, wow. I'm at the Damn. bottom of the computer. Skype out here like, uh, 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 uh. I was about to take that bet. I can't do but no I, 50 dips, but. But what I can do in the meantime, push -ups. read this super chat. But my man, sarcastic sarcasm says, keep it up, guys. Hard working all the time, cabrones. Oh, oh man. Fucking <laughs> Skype is hard working on trashing the show. They trashy, trashy. They, hit, they hitting you with body shots right the, now. That was the big reset. We're going to go ahead and cut out on that. My Jean Bay ain't going to hate. We got things to do, like go to sleep and wake up to do another show in the morning. With and Shannon the Cannon. With the Cannon. And we got a few other people. I don't know who. I don't know. I don't know who, but we got some other people. Let me see who's Friday. Friday, Shannon, Friday. Shannon, I tell you. Yo, Shannon looking in super shape. Yes, bro. Man. I saw that video of him yeah. walking in I the gym. Ask him Holy like, crap. Bro, I don't like, even know. I thought I, I thought I scheduled somebody for oh, Friday. They done gave the, the champ the, the elixir of life. <laughs> for real, bro. They done gave oh, him the nah. founder. I don't got uh, nobody, Ness. Yeah. Yeah, it's no. Called. I might have not uh, put it in. Word. Word. Last last minute confirmation. Word though. Word though. Na na that's last hour conf confirmation, Gibbs. Yep, that's me. It's all yep. good. You yep. make it happen. Yep, that's Yo, me. Yo, did guys. You say, like, Brandon. Yep. Brandon sent you the cash up. Yep. Brandon, a uh, casual bass guy sent you. Ivan. Yeah. Ivan is casual bass guy? I no, mean, no, no. maybe, 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 maybe nah, I don't want to say no, is or isn't, nah. you know? No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, Ivan Diaz is different, but like yeah. casual bass guy, if you got it from casual bass guy, I'll just add him in. So. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I got casual bass guy, because I don't know what's his name. We got, we got, we got Calito, like I said, Ivan Brandon and Brandon Bo and yeah. Majimbe. Those were the last four for right now. 
Okay, I so may be mistaken, right now, for, for, for this week only, like the pot is at 50, right? So if we were to close by the end of this week, you'll get like a price equivalent of $50. You'll get a, you'll get a, a right? beautiful Cash you Weezy shirt. You think all showcase COVID for You know what I'm saying? Cash Weezy be making them expensive one-offs. So yeah, my G-Man, you can yeah. pick up, man. We lost you again with yet another Skype crash. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, Microsoft got to get their shit together, man. Um, but yeah, man, like I was saying that uh, everybody is ducking Rigo at 118. Anyway, it does not want that smoke. And, I, and I'm, uh, I'm putting bets out there, 70, 70 to 80 dips. Um, Damn, dips. For, you put a dip got, work in there. For, I got Teofimo, and I also got Jason Crosario, the banana. So whoever mm. wants it, hit me up. I'm on Skype. My Yimbe. You already know. Yo, but uh tremendous show. Um hopefully everybody hit that that like like button and uh subscribe. Let's go, right. champ. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Thank you, my Jimbe. Yeah, just so y'all know to, just so y'all know, champies. Yeah, casual bass is the champion. He's Ivan Diaz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Ivan. Okay, I got cool. It. You know I'm what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, Chance. Don't make me Yo, have to go up top. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna look up this. Ness has frozen Damn, again, guys. Yo. Oh my god. No, I'm not, but it looks like <laughs> it looks like yeah. it looks like Tony Harrison's on the East Coast. I'm about to hit him up and come down to see him, bro. He in Philly. I hope he's doing okay, you know. Harrison? Yeah, Tony. Then he have a... Uh... Oh, no, maybe I'm mistaken. I thought Tony, I Tony, I thought Tony Harrison had just went through through a loss in his, in his family, but he I did, guess I'm just missing. He did, his father. All right, well, I hope he's doing okay. Damn, stop. Call you... Breathe so heavy into the fucking mic. Bro, you ain't even looking at the screen, and I you're can, thinking it's I me. I can hear. I don't need my <laughs> eyes to but hear. I, I'm not even breathing. Lies. You're the only one. All you one. know is Coach Mitty over there biting brother, his lip right brother. now like, yo, guys, it's four in the no. morning here. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only one. You're the only one that breathes. I've been ready to go. We out, Benny. Peace. Next GT on Instagram Peace. Twitter. Darth Vader status. At Mar on Twitter. At Mar Instagram. Peace. Y'all already know Alex underscore Doomsday underscore L-A-I-N-E-Z and expect the Shinobi before I'm done. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Put a D at the end of that rectangular box that you see next to the bell. Welcome to the family. If you already got the D there, if you don't, come on, champies. You won't know when we're going live. You won't know nothing. You'll be missing out. You'll be having to catch up because we are on all the time. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to play that game with us because we work hard and we're here all the time throughout the day. So listen to us live. Uh, if you follow us on IG, pay attention to the IG. You know, every morning there is a link to the morning show on IG. So let's just say you're uh, cruising through your IG and you don't want to flip over to another app. Just click the link in the bio. And if you're looking at the stories, just swipe up and you'll go directly to the episodes every morning that's on there. So if you guys didn't know it, now you know. And uh, yeah, see us tomorrow and la mañana. Weekend's coming. It's going to be a great weekend of fights. So, again, we thank you for your time. Yo. And I told you, Shinobi. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, man. I, anyway, Coach Midi, don't worry about IG, Twitter, and all that. If you want to see me, you see me on TBV. See, all right. on, see him in the streets, Border Wars. <laughs> hey. Yo, see, see him training right now.